Welcome to Starfinder, The Fragments of Eternity, Session 32, somehow. It is the 2nd of <laughs> September, 2019. <laughs> I am Ryan, the GM. Here are the players, despite my best efforts. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Is it me you're looking for? No. Oh, okay, then I'll see you later. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> I, can, uh, I was, I was muted. I did actually sing. For the rest. I was like, I can see it in your eyes. But I, but I was I muted, am. so never mind. Sorry. But I am. Um, who am I again? I'm, I'm Zora, the best captain, and I am also Nico because <laughs> I forgot that part as well. <laughs> Keep it going. Hi. I am exasperated, mm. and. I am Alex and played Nix 5, <laughs> the Android mechanic. Hey! The inevitable. <laughs> Hello. Uh, um, yeah, I, I'm Colin. I'm playing Lyco. He's not an Android mechanic. He's neither of those things. <laughs> he He's wishes. He's a man with a gun. And, um... A couple of other guns. Scales. <laughs> Knifey what? Just goes through his a inventory sheet. Brain like a sharp phantom basil ganglia. <laughs> right, okay, so, cool. Moving on. Yep. If I had if I had to live my life <laughs> without you near me. <laughs> the days would all be empty. Right, so this can't get monetized, it's fine. Why is he phrasing this like it's a hypothetical? You live it's in fine. the far side of nothing. Of course you uh, live your days without us. This is true. Also, it's a very pretty Every day. of nothing. It is that. It is a very pretty R send. Um, if my R send is half as pretty as the R send of nowhere that I live. Just gonna redact um, all current comments. Anyone listening at home, if you can vouch one way or the other on that subject, please let us know. Hi, I'm Callum, and I'll be playing Zig, our mystical space rat. With the Hi, Schrodinger's Callum. arse, apparently, yeah, whether it's good or bad. So, who remembers what happened last time? I mean, honestly, I'm struggling here. Uh, I went, I spoke with Commander... Um, Babak. Babak, thank you. You're welcome. Uh... I feel, there like, were I feel like there is an NPC list somewhere for this game. We decided that I would, how, you know, do I? Yeah, you do. You're the GM. You fucking, you know. I mean, I know, but I need you to know. <laughs> um, I, I'm struggling with words. I no longer have my, uh, uh have, you know, gorgeous assistant and uh, irritating drow. Uh, which are the same entity, to be clear. Um, and I'm also going to go and try and do the accommodation tango and then talk to a church assassin about a bank vault. Yep, sounds good enough. That's broadly true. I I'm quite tired. Mm -hmm. Yep. Spooky, <laughs> scary, like a quint. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> That's me. Uh, yeah, what else was happening last time? Other people can feel this. Colin can let his brain recharge. He went to a thingy. Mm -hmm. well, we just went to go try and get see a man about a shop, mm -hmm. I suppose. Yeah. Uh, um, Mr. Lyco Quint was asked to spy on the Vesk, mm -hmm. essentially. I didn't get round to Remember the Vesk's name? Demogesh. Uh, yep. Yeah, Demogesh. <laughs> cannot remember his big name. Um, it was something. So like he's Demogesh. Massive scary bitch of and he's death. The Grave Epoch Annihilator. <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically what he said. Yeah, it's the same thing. Big Vesk guy. <laughs> it's the GEA. I'm gonna just pop, I'll pop that back in. Yeah, the fucking GAA. <laughs> it's actually pronounced Tagia, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
So yeah, Tagia. Demogash Tagia. <laughs> oh, to be sure. <laughs> yep. So potentially just do some some espionage on or just surveillance really. Um on Demogash. If you're brave enough. And then mm. yeah, that I think that was I feel that was the gist of it. There was the arrival at like the city strip, if you will. Of yes. Versani. Um, um, there was uh, the the discussions, the frank discussions with the border. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they kind of like uh, the, yeah. gimps. Yeah, basically. They were really unhelpful. <laughs> yeah. Sure lackeys or yeah. no, flunky. Flunkies. Any of the equipment that yeah, I just flunkies, dumped in front you. of them, I was very upset. Mm -hmm. I couldn't think of any of those words I said for gimps. I hope that's okay. <laughs> Flunky. <laughs> cool. so, but yeah, let's um, go review goals on our new goal sheet. Uh, Millwall Z. No. Okay. So, currently, we don't have a party goal. Which is fine by me, because you're all are currently pursuing individual goals. So Zora, yours is sitting at get the ship fixed. Still happy? Mine's is still happy. I'm still, still going. Cool. I'm fine with it. Next five, yours is sitting at obtain power armor and make it sneakable. Yeah, I don't need any ship now. Mm. Let's trap a, a jump drive to it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Was it this group that spoke about strapping a jump drive to a dog in a spacesuit? I feel like I don't, I don't, I don't think, think so. I feel like I if it was, it was like session two. Yeah, that sounds like this would be a responsible thing I wouldn't do. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, don't, <laughs> I don't know, man. Yeah, I don't know. I just I feel like that was something a conversation it had. It seems at some impractical, point. to be honest. <laughs> no, like do dogs, it, man. Why would I do that? <laughs> like, I mean, gonna, think of the game of fetch it could play. Um, yeah, but we could just strap it to be so okay. Yeah, that's true. I feel mm -hmm. like Zig doesn't really need help getting around. Just staying in one place is Zig's problem. <laughs> you could yeah, just, you can you could just start the uh, ignitions and uh, <laughs> the launch sequence and, and ask someone you don't like to hold it. Is it the remix to ignition or? Uh, <laughs> not anymore because okay. uh, he's been cancelled. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, <laughs> I think he was probably like. I think he should have come pre cancelled, you know? Like if anyone was going to be cancelled, there's that, a lot to unpack the, with that sentence. That been the, uh, so, the, if there the, was anyone who would be pre-cancelled, yeah, you know, mm -hmm. like the, the known teen pisser, that is a yeah. that's death. Hot and fresh out the kitchen. Mm. Um, right, so next five, that seems fine. Lyco, your goal. That seems to be fine. Well, my goal is to generally like, like slowly transform the whole game into the pre-game. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's we're not far off it at the moment. Um, slowly, he says. Uh, my my goal at the moment, I think, is actually. I feel like it's going to prove a bit longer term than I had thought. Well, we could move that so... back. We could move that back if you wanted. Um, mm, I think that might be a, a, an idea, and I think my more sort of short-term goal. Could be just to maybe surveil is too broad because like I could go watch him for five minutes and say ah, I surveilled the uh, the vest. Yeah, but I think it would be uh, gather something useful for from surveillance, right? Yes, it would that, be that, that. Maybe, maybe not even surveillance. It could be a little bit more direct approach, but like ga gather information on the Gia. Um, something, something like that. Mm, okay, well, go fill that out in the goals page. I've moved your uh, find source of Baray information over to the uh, okay. ideas to expand on. I guess uh, I'll just change that to ideas because that seems simpler. Gather info on. I've said info rather than useful information because he kind of won't know what's useful until it's been used, sort of thing. So yeah, but like... I feel like he brushes his teeth at 10 p.m. every night. Is information, but well, he know, brushes his teeth at 10 p.m. through that window. <laughs> yeah, like, but then that's uh, you know, you've got his position at yeah. that time as opposed to just the fact that he brushes his teeth at that time. 
Um, whereas if you know he makes a phone call to his VESC superior, you know, at 9.30, that's a bit more useful because then you'd know when to listen. Well, I can specify <laughs> useful then. Yeah. Or actionable to be policey. Yeah, go for it. Let's be policey. <laughs> Actions blue, as I nearly <laughs> spelled it there. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Because um, I, I, that leaves it vague enough that it could be something that you <coughs> could follow up on to a second goal, if need be, um, without it necessarily being a find him red-handed, you know. So that's good. Uh, yeah, I'm happy with that. Uh, what about Zig? Ziggy! Your current one is sitting at Reconcile with Nick. Reconcile with Nick. Forgiveness. Seek forgiveness. It's never going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Deny. Ever. Um, remember when you spent that entire like like what was it, eight hour drive staring off into space? Yeah. <laughs> like I'd say and you when you were sat next to Nix for the for like almost all of it. So No, wasn't he sat next to me for the No I was sat next no, to the, the first For half of oh. it, yeah, the first half. Yeah, okay, yeah. And then the uh, last half it was Nix and Zora in the, the, the hum that was it the Funvy. <laughs> <laughs> The fun V. Not the humdrum V. Or more like the fucking suicide hum V because of your absolute ridiculous visceral mind <laughs> exploding powers. Yeah. But anyway, uh, goals. Current goals. Reconcile with next and seek forgiveness. Keeping it, adapting it. What's happening? Um, I think I'm going to keep it for now, but I will probably adapt it by the end of today. <laughs> you mean achieve? Or, or achieve it. Yeah. Achieve slash adapt, yeah. Because if you don't achieve think you can... If, put it this way, right, so Calm? If you don't think you can achieve it today, what what are what's going to make you achieve it? That's the best thing to think about just now, right? So let's talk yeah, about yeah. it. Because I think we need to... You've had the goal for a wee while. Not to say that Zora hasn't had get the ship fixed for a while, but this is something that... You're not on the board yet for completed a goal. I know, I was just looking at that just now. Mm-hmm. So let's see if we can get your goal you can achieve. So what do you want Zig to be able to achieve this week? What do we think I he can do? I feel like just a simple conversation would get that. You done. would think. You would. But it's... Oh man. There's a lot to unpack, right? Zig has a lot of complex there emotions is. about that event. <laughs> And and I don't think I don't think Zig would be like kind of willing to bring it up currently. Which, just from a GM point of view to player point of view, makes it a terrible goal to achieve. <laughs> yeah, that's what I that's, that's what <laughs> um not to say it's not a good goal worth pursuing, if that makes sense. Yeah, that's that's the but thing. It doesn't necessarily have to be the sort more... of stated mechanical goal. Yeah. Yeah. That was that was my that was my um issue with it but I was gonna say last week. Before last. Um yeah. and um yeah. So um what's you could morph it now or move it into the ideas pile and we'll give you something new. So what's the do you wanna pursue that I, this week or do you wanna and by pursue that I mean I the mean, concept of it. Um because it is quite a big thing to unpack, so obviously it isn't just a case of, hey Nick, are we cool? And Nick's like, sure. And then it's achieved. It's more a case of you as Zig bringing yourself to confront your own guilt mm -hmm. about Nick's yeah. and Alice, if that makes sense. So what's the first step in that if you want to start pursuing it? Instead of trying to complete that, there's a step you could take towards that versus chain putting the goal to the side and then making something you want to focus on as a way to say Zig isn't trying, like Zig's trying to focus on something else instead of uh -huh. thinking about his guilt. And then there's the secondary guilt about the people you ripped apart with your mind. That mm. didn't happen. You said that didn't happen. And then there was not, the. It didn't happen. And then there was the get revenge yeah. on the Radiant Supreme for like reasons unknown. With his mind. You say revenge. The radiant <laughs> short. Kinda of helped them towards reincarnation, right? Yeah. <laughs> sure. 
<laughs> well, you know, you could look at it in the Is it that Jesus? <laughs> they obviously didn't have a very good lifestyle. It probably wasn't very healthy. They probably weren't going to live that long anyway. You know what else uh, wasn't healthy? They were Massive also dangerous amounts of radiation. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, it's, it's, like the opening move, Lyco. The opening move was irradiate. Really, it, it probably improved their situation in the long run. I mean, you're, you're dead now. You don't have anything to complain about. It's it's better than being a fucking shit. You're bandit. dead. How's the complaining going? I mean, I'm the wrong kind of dead. <laughs> He's just better because his dead isn't as final as their dead. It's, it's the kind of dead where you have to still put up with it all. Yeah. It's this, they got the sort of dead you wish for. Yeah. I mean, it's not so much that as that you would rather like. To they be got the, the less dead, upkeep like, death, the you know? But he is, he's not going to go dead dead because right now he's sort of not dead and that's better than being dead. But, you know, preferably, you know, you'd have a more clean cut sort of set of parameters. Um. <laughs> And, and, you know, that, you know, just spe 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 spelling, spitballing, uh, spellballing, spellballing, I can't remember, is spitballing what I'm trying yeah. to say, yeah. possibly? Anyway, um, Filibustering? the very important uh, thing is to remember that you uh, just killed some shitty dust bandits that live in <laughs> dust and probably have a terrible life. <laughs> Spoken <laughs> like a space <laughs> cop of a <laughs> 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 What, what kind of life do they have? Terrible life, oh. dangerous to other people. <laughs> they were probably dying of radiation poisoning anyway. Did them a favour. So By killing them with radiation poisoning. Yep. Uh, yeah. he, he advanced the <laughs> timeline. I just brought the inevitability of their demise. Um, okay, Thanos. <laughs> no, I, just, am a, I am inevitable. He was just going about it in a very stupid fucking way. Yes, please rant about that. <laughs> I feel like you're. This is the thing where you see a crazy person in the street, and you just like offer them a little tidbit as you go by, knowing a little bit of your shot, and other people have to deal with it. Oh heck! Oh heck! What have I done? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I don't know. I'm having. I'm having don't, a meltdown. Stop, stop, R Ryan, what are you trying me. to do? I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna talk. Right. Ah. <sighs> I feel like Zig at this point, like his mind. Right. So be... you want to move that over there? Yes. Oh wow, that was right. easy. Yep. I didn't even have to do it. Um. I feel like his mind. He's like actively trying to not focus on the subject of that, so his mind's probably more focused on the task at hand. So everything that kind of going on to the whole thing about the vault and everything, because that's striking cards with him as well. Mm -hmm. So I think just finding out about the vault and um... So finding what out about the vault, there you go. There's yeah, this, that direction. Yeah. Finding what about the vault. I think the connection that he he feels the vault sort of kind of filling that base. You know, like, you know, he's like, ah, oh, obviously I know the vault, but he doesn't know anything about the vaults, you know, really, other than he was there, maybe, sort of. Okay, so word that in a goal for me. Okay. This is where I wish I was good at words. Hmm. So, so something. what do you want to do, and what does that action achieve? So, think of it like there's an action part of it and a result part of it. So, gather is the action, right? Mm -hmm. Gather actual info on Demogesh, and the info on Demogesh is to help further Lyco's current goal by Commander Babak, who's been like, I'll give you something mm -hmm. if you do something for me, buddy. Um, off the books, of course, because you're off every book we've got at the moment. So, mm -hmm. whereas you've also got next five is obtain power armor and make it sneakable. So, obtain and make. See how that's the actions. So, obtain the thing, make the thing, this thing. Of course, in that case, the purpose of it is kind of self-explanatory. And then um. you've got get the ship fixed. And that's Zora's yeah. never-ending goal. So, 
Also oh, pretty. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so yeah. for you, no, it's never going to be fixed. That's it. It's over. It will be. Yeah. Don't you? Don't <laughs> never never going to be fixed. Never give up. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, so you want to do something about the vault, right? So, what about the vault? So is it discover my connection with? The vault. I mean, or is that not what you actually care about, John? That's that? that's. I mean, that's that's basically what I said. But I'm, 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 I'm. Eh. What's happening? Why are there so many lines here? What's what's going on? Here? What's going on here? Was was this Co me? Colin, Did I touch it? What's happening, Colin? I'm tabbed out. I mean, you're doing, <laughs> you're doing stuff in the spreadsheet. Am I? Yep. I've just moved back into it to see. An undo, please. That literally just erased the text that um, I improved. Like, that's all I've done. Undo again. Okay. Weird. It wasn't me, I told you! It wasn't me, hold on. Why is this thing here? I was literally. I wasn't on that tab, oh, and I there. wasn't was on sick. that window. It was me. I don't know what I did. I'm sorry. Anyway, right. um, so what's happening? Zig. Zig. Uh, yeah, because uh, you don't need that. Yes. To you can, you can. We can dump that over here if we need to as well. We're just gonna end up with like a whole column mm -hmm. of. Mm -hmm. Zig ideas and not an actual goal. Yep. Is my issue. Mm -hmm. Keep in mind, you have a whole party here that can help you with this. Party? Well, I'm, I, it's not like we can tell you what you're going to be. So it ain't going to be that easy. No, 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 no. But, like, I mean. I. I think that you need something that's. Tying to like where you want your character to go, like obviously having a goal that's sort of like in terms of um, inner party dynamics and things like that makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, but I feel like you should have something that's either for like advancement of plot or advancement of zig. Mm -hmm. um, and like I get that that could arguably be um, something that, that you are doing through this, but I think it's a bit indirect, so you could maybe have. Let's see something that ties into uh, the the current planet. So maybe something to do with um. What do you, what what do you know about that could be relevant to our current situation on the planet? You know, so, something like how can you can apply your specific skills to our current situation? So that's something that you can maybe take on quite directly and relatively soon. Um, I'm I'm not sure. Like off the top of my head, I can't think of anything. But you know, I'm not you. So I think throwing something in about yeah you know, fixing the ship, kind of the immediate task, because you did say that's what Zig would be kind of focusing on. Uh huh. Um. So uh, and I believe you come with a captain to uh, where are we kind of hang around the um ship port. Mm -hmm. I don't know if there's. I don't know if you know um, whether there's your Soki connections there. Maybe just yeah, something more towards fixing our current issue. Probably where Zig's head would be out of it all. Yeah, because yeah. again, it can as like I think Colin kind of was uh, really good in the sense of saying. I agree. There is Sorry. two points there: further the plot, either the way it's going or in a new direction, or further the character. The way he's going, or in a new direction, and mm -hmm. if you look at the current goals we've got for everyday, and it's worth chatting about. I think Zora's goal is get the ship fixed because that's kind of a very, that's a, a combination of the ship's important to Zora. That's like Zora's like start of his new life, and then it also is how you guys get around when you yeah. don't just get randomly teleported by other people through time or there's space. There's a pragmatic like, in-game reason, and there's a character reason Which there. sounds very Vesk, right? It was the Vesk in your life, but at the same time, it's how the Vesk gets to places. So, yeah. Yeah. this is how we go places. Vesk go in ship. Also, ship it's ship. your home, 
right? <laughs> this is where you people live. So there's that. Then you've got Nix's goal, which is get stuff and then get to tinker with stuff to improve it. Um, so it's a very Nix focused goal. But obviously, making Nix better makes the party better until Nix betrays the party. Shh. Um, party betrayed me first. Lyco is following his current plotline of Vesk intrigue. Do you know what I mean? So, uh, Vesk mm -hmm. Benage, I think we were calling it. Mine's kind of a bit of a twofer because I'm doing <laughs> stuff that's very distinctly my character y mm -hmm. um, and, you know, on orders from a superior. Well, te not technically superior now, but y you see what I mean. You traded um, off, I um, you wanted stuff for the party, right? You wanted uh, contacts yep. for some place to lie low and stuff. Yeah. So and you... also, like what I'm investigating is inevitably going to be relevant party goals. Mm -hmm. um, I think, like you, you, you could you could argue that oh, it's not directly relevant, but I think there's no way it's not going to be. Uh, so, so like that's kind of a twofer. So if mm -hmm. you you can find your own vests to investigate, you know, um, well, not not literally, but in terms of to like, start staring what, at Zora really hard. What's your skill set? Hmm. Well, your skill set's more of the mystical weirdness, okay. Um, what's the sort of pressing issue with regard to that? Um, I think that think that that that's maybe the way to start thinking about it. Like, what are the skills that I have, and how can I? It could even be, yeah, the ship because you're a fucking pilot. Mm -hmm. It could be that. You also keep in mind as well. Maybe the goal is to find a purpose with the group, right? Because. That's the thing we're kind of overlooking, where everybody has like a job, right? You don't have a ship to pilot right now, so Zig is a mm -hmm. bit lost because Zig took, well, killed Alice to take her job because he's Klingon born, and um, obviously in that, you've got Alice that's back now, right? As a, a weird new version of herself. So, she's also a pilot, or at least was playing the role of pilot, and you've got Zig now, who is like filling in for piloting, uh, and you obviously use both crash landed here um, in the pilot seats in the cockpit, I should say. Mm -hmm. So you've got that angle that you could pursue. You could pursue something with Alice, right? But then you went with the wrong team for that. But maybe that's something that you want to think about with this, because you could obviously yeah. still work on that. Um, you could try and fix that, or you could even try and work out what's going on with Alice. Um, now, like she went through a weird transformation, as I said. You've got as Colin said, like the piloting angle you could track down, the current situation is the ship problem. Uh, the vault is very much relevant, just in general, because yeah. this is what you all agreed to. regards to Alice as well, there's clearly a mystical component there. Mm -hmm. Her mm. transformation wasn't like a purely physical one, certainly the way it came about, even the nature of it, like... That's something that maybe you could do. That's a good point, actually. That was mm -hmm. something I was going to investigate. Do. Investigate what part. happened to cause her transformation exactly, and that could naturally lead to some interactions with a certain, um, you know, member of our team who may be uh, the fifth of his lineage. Mm -hmm. um, Zora. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Zora the Five. <laughs> Zora the Fifth. Zora the Fifth. Um, Zora means yeah, five. I, in I, best. I feel like. <laughs> yeah, I feel like it's, it's. Oh dear. Definitely, the the would Zig would be. Certainly, trying to find his his actual role in the party because. Actually, I forget. I think Alice went with you guys know. anyway. So yeah, Alice is with you guys. Oh, okay. so that is actually something you yeah, could explore. Okay. And then you know, actually, I forget the shack horses with you. Uh, investigate just the the whole affair with Alice because that's kind of linking more. Wait, wait a minute. You weren't going to tell Nick about that, were you? Mm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Someone's getting airlocked. But I think it's like it is actually. It's fine. I can survive in space. <laughs> That's why I keep doing it. Captain, get the ship thick so we can airlock him. <laughs> you know that that's like if you decided that the, the, the within the party there were things that needed to be investigated. Mm -hmm. I think your sort of psychic mystic nature makes mm -hmm. you the perfect one to really investigate any member of the party. 
because uh, mm. like even Lyco would have a disadvantage. Admittedly, a small one, which would be more than compensated to, for you know by his insane bonuses. But uh, if he were to try and like question Nix, stay. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that just if depends anyone... if uh, Nix wants uh, Lyco. Uh, sorry, that was his face. Zig to touch him, given what yes. happened with Alice. Obviously, but there, you know, there are other abilities. He's mystic senses and things mm-hmm. like that. You could maybe use in some way, employ in some way. Uh, I, I, I just think like that is actually an interesting point that you, you that you know you've sort of directed them to there. That if anyone in our party were going to investigate the other members, mm-hmm. um, Lyco would probably be number one option. But he would have a slightly mm-hmm. harder time with some stuff. He doesn't know much about mystical. It's because you have to do it the analog way, right? You have to be analog exactly. about, it, whereas he gets to be mystical about it. I think. Particularly when it comes to Nyx, under certain circumstances, obviously, I think you would have an advantage. I think you would probably have an advantage over the rest of the party in terms of actually investigating Lyco, because while Lyco does have some defences against it, he's not going to be nearly as effective at resisting sort of psychic investigation as he would be resisting um, sort of just interrogation Mm -hmm. by the literal means of interrogating someone. Like, if you try and talk a circle round... Like, yeah, there's oh, social combat and psychic combat, right? Gonna, yeah, yeah. Mm. You're, you're not going to win a sort of battle of the wits with them, but you might win a, you know, a battle of the mystical willpower or mm-hmm. something, you know? Um, so I think, like, you are in an interesting position in terms of what you can do interacting with other members of the party. Um, if that doesn't sound too wanky a way to put it. But I, th- I think you, you can see what I mean. Like, if you decide that you need to look into Alice or any of us for whatever reason mm-hmm. I think you're probably pretty well placed to do that. You're probably not yeah. in a bad place to actually help uh, the Vespinage mission either, to be honest. Yes, but, indeed. Um, quite frankly, depending on obviously your... <laughs> I do think <laughs> the it. fact of like the, the requirement for in so many things for physical touch mm. is it, it's not necessarily a huge problem or weakness, but it's like a, I think it works best in people you know and have a level of trust with. Yeah. Like, you can't just walk up to any old desk and touch them and expect that to go well. But then you could always try and wait for them to be in, like, the street or something, right? Moving from A to B, they'd have that old, you know, raincoat, hood up, walk past, brush by them, you know, transfer <laughs> information. How many feet tall, so it's kind of obvious. Yeah, they'd touch their toes, right? Um, so, I've never seen giant desk booties before. Hmm. <laughs> But yeah, so I know we've set you with a lot there, Callum. But yeah, like, um, what do so you? Yeah, it's definitely. What do you want? I'm oh, sorry, Callum. Yeah, I was just gonna say, what is if we had to pin you down? What is the next thing you want to see for Zig? I think it's definitely Cause definitely it, more leaning towards the whole finding what he's supposed to do within the party mm-hmm. now yeah. that he has literally no job mm-hmm. um, maybe it's also like let's let's expand on that because <clears throat> we talked about dealing with what you were capable of in the last fight right we talked about mm-hmm. it very briefly and you had obviously it's kind of almost PTSD moments and just driving the, the buggy but maybe that should be part of it like because before you were like oh I'm the med kit. Look at me. I patch people up and I occasionally tell them about the sun when they have to sit with me while I heal them. And then yeah. that then translates into I've been stolen through time and everybody's disappointing me so far. And uh, I don't know who the good guys or the bad guys are anymore. Everything's a bit more grey in the real world. And then. That's what I've been trying to tell. Yeah, right? And then you fast forward to the part where, like, Lyco has actively said, We ain't the good guys, but we ain't the bad guys. You know? for lack of a better way of putting it and then yeah. fast forward again to the part where the power you're capable of of going and just removing a guy's head and shoulders versus you thought you were the pilot now because you were like I have to do this because I broke Alice and Alice was the this before me okay I'll do this but Alice is back and now you've just like melted people and ripped them apart psychically what like it must be massive for Zig to think what, what am I not even what's my mm-hmm. purpose in the party now, but like, am I meant to to, to kill people now? Because you see how good the like, Zora, Nix, and Lyco are at killing people. Yeah, yeah. But that's because Nix has added attachments to help kill. Lyco has grown attachments to help kill, and Zora was born to help kill. 
So, like, for Zig, Zig was like, I like the sun. It's warm and welcoming and bright and shines light everywhere and it's great. And now you are really good at killing people. So yeah, I guess you've got a whole load to explore, to be honest. Yeah. So just word that into an achievable goal for me. and uh, Perhaps <laughs> too much. Mm -hmm. Who's changing things? <laughs> oh, that I, I'm in the wrong thing. Yep. Sorry. Yep. Put it back. Ah! There we go. It's not back. Oh, <laughs> gone. Oh, go. <laughs> Um, oh. sure. Undo, there we go. Uh, <laughs> uh, every day at home, you can't see this, we have a cool tracking screen. Uh, it's it's wonderful. If I could have a, a really, really Do smooth way of importing it. <laughs> I mean, I suppose I could put it in, but I don't, I don't want to. That used to me from the paper. It was happier times. Um, yeah. And I think it's important to remember, of course, you don't have to fucking do absolutely everything, so... <laughs> yeah, but you can... You don't feel like everyone have bombarded you with. Yeah, because, I mean, a lot of us have unpacked Zig quite a bit there, but... For example, reconcile with Nex and seek forgiveness. You could break that up into, like, five goals, if you really had to. Mm -hmm. to find a way to get, um, you know, Nex to have a conversation with me. I, the next part could be whatever the result of that conversation is, you then add your goal, modify it, keep going. Um, so, yeah. Now, here's the part where there's no action or result, right? So there's no gather action info on Demogesh, because that has a specific endpoint. Can you see that? Yeah. Right, so we need yours to have a specific endpoint. So what is the first step in this, right? So, let's keep it, right? But let's... <laughs> Let's get part one of it done. So, who is Zig and what does he do? How are you going to find the first step of that? What is your plan? What's part one of this? Like, what part of you are you trying to work out? Are you trying to just find your role within the the current group dynamic? Are you going to try and help mm -hmm. the party to yeah, do yeah, X? Was... Like, because, yeah, that's what we need to start working on. Because at least that way, as a talk to Captain or talk to Zora about my place on the crew. Can you see how that's a... Yes. Or talk to Zora about what my place is on the crew. Is probably a good one. That's if it's Zora you want to speak to about that, obviously, but it makes sense because it's the Captain. Well, I, I mean, I would he would definitely just talk to the Captain, you know. Yeah. So... Why don't we have that as the goal then? Because at least that's something you can actively go and speak to Zora about at some point during the session. Do it. Do it, Anakin. So, find out from Cap what Zig's role is. Let's change that slightly. To talk to Cap then about place with crew for Zig. I think that is a bit more specific. Happy? Wanna change it? Wanna tweak it? No, no. Good. Because I would quite like to see some some zig over on the completed goals column at some point. That'd be quite good. Because um, it is a tough thing to do, is to drive your character this way, instead of kind of being pulled by the story. But that's why I wanted mm -hmm. to try the goal system out, because I want you guys to drive the story as much as me. Um, and it works. I think that's quite good. Everybody's got a goal they can actively work on, which is good. 
Um, nothing's too big either, except Zora's, of course. Um, hey. It's just your vesk <laughs> biology. You can't. You can't. No shame. <laughs> no. You have to get a shot first. <laughs> right. Let's get started then, shall we? I think we just open on the group approaching the kind of shipyard facilities. I think that's the best thing to open up. And you've just got like Alice doing that kind of impressed whistle as you see like various ships being worked on in that kind of ever expanding kind of vista in the distance. So, uh, yeah. Mm. I'm not going to whistle on Mike, so. <laughs> God, it'd be so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just move his turn. I guess, um, probably approach the first dude that maybe knows what he's talking about. I don't know, an engineer looking <laughs> dude, you know? know from looking at him, <laughs> well, I mean, you go to a place well, right, and you know, like, that well, is that either a perception here, check right? or a sense motive check, right? Mm. It's both. Yeah, let's go I with that. No, let, let's just see sense it's motive, fun. right? And we'll see how well this goes because it, it doesn't necessarily mean you find the right person, but you definitely find somebody with a purpose. <laughs> and that's always you find start. a guy with like a hard hat. And some tools, and you're like, right, he's an oh, engineer. He probably right. works here. Excuse me, pal. I see you're in charge. <laughs> Where do I go to see you have a ship repair, mate? Like, uh, yeah, <laughs> like, look for the cleanest shoes. Procedure, man. Like, <laughs> look for the cleanest shoes, a clipboard, and the cleanest hard hat. That's your man. Um, I don't know. I feel like I just want an intelligence roll first. Okay. I mean, that's pretty bad, but. <laughs> Just I go mean, for it, let's see what happens. Just give me that first and then we'll work on it. Right, right. Intelligence just yeah. straight up intelligence. Yeah, just Okay. I yeah. mean Perfect. I mean this is gonna be bad. Like It's fine. Yeah. That's great. I love it's it. Fun. And now now again, perception, sense motive. I really don't care which one. I think either have value and I'll give you different results based on what one you pick, so what are we going for? I the perception. Percept motive. Cool. So, you've got like, you look around, you obviously just have your, you know, predatorial vision on where you just scan the horizon <laughs> and you go, right, I just need somebody that looks like they know what they're doing. And yeah, you find somebody with shiny shoes, a hard hat and a clipboard, for example. Um, and yeah, she's just walking past. Again, she has the kind of the slightly more kind of gangly, pure black eyes, weird silvery hair of the Vertani. Huh. Um, uh, uh, I'd, I'd be like thinking of a word. Well, you know, like, do you like step? Do you just step in front of her, or like what? What, what do you do to get no, her attention? Because no, she's just going to walk just by. Be like, I'd lift a hand, you know, but like, um, uh, excuse me, that's that's the word, right? <laughs> and like. I mean, she probably gets startled a bit, right? She gets startled a bit, takes a step back, kind of holds the clipboard up a bit, kind of clutching it to herself, and then uh, just starts, like, speaking in Verthani really fast. Uh, or whatever that Versite it was. Versite was the, uh, the language. I would look to the other people. <laughs> like... <laughs> 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 and you understand this? I'm sorry, Captain. Do you want me to translate? Absolutely. Turn to the person. And uh, hey. she is mostly babbling at this point um, about how she doesn't have anything of value on her, and uh, she doesn't want to upset the Vesk. Um, yeah. Uh, I apologise for his stern appearance. He, he is looking for a ship merchant. Repairman? Repairman. And then she kind of... Um, she still looks quite taken aback, but she's not necessarily too uh, 
immediately, oh god, I'm going to mace you in the face with my uh, <laughs> self-defense spray. Um, or self-defense nanite cloud, I guess, from my bracelet. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, and she kind of like, you can see her kind of catch her breath a tiny bit, and she kind of just goes and says to you, uh, if you're looking for a ship merchant, generally you would go to one of the shipbuilding companies and kind of gestures back the way you came. Uh, however, uh, this is where all the actual construction happens. And kind of points in further to like the kind of... It looks like a huge big dry dock, obviously. <sighs> yes, well, I, I suppose we're looking more for someone to pick up a damaged ship. Um, I don't think the builders would... And she goes, salvage and recovery. Uh, and then she kind of slowly edges towards her like equivalent of a phone and uh, like flips it open and then like flicks through like a, a holographic Rolodex and pulls open one of the pages and kind of like turns it to you and just a hollow screen that's floating in midair uh, shows up to you and it's just the name of a salvage company uh, and like an address. Yes, uh, that would do us fine. Excellent. Just, you should have thought about that. And like her hand is like wait, like almost paused over the like holographic screen as if she's waiting on something. Thank you. And she just looks at you a bit more kind of impatient now and she's like, open your com so I can send it to you. Ah, yes. I open mine up. Yeah, and she just swipes it towards you. And she goes, "Good, good day." And then, uh, thank you. Yeah, and she just like scarpers off a bit quicker. <laughs> we have a success, Captain. Oh, good. So we, where are we going? Uh, punching the address into. Assume there's an equivalent of Google Maps. Uh, you can connect up to the, like nope. <laughs> the Versus network if you wish. The interwebs, yeah. and uh, it comes up with obviously the "Do you accept cookies?" Obviously, um, I love cookies. Yes, <laughs> I love cookies are a good one. Could add <laughs> cookies right now. So, so yeah, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it sends you off to. Go I immediately it. start walking. Yep. Um, out of interest, did you switch back out of uh, Versa? When you started speaking to the captain, because I just love the idea that you just carry on the conversation <laughs> in Versailles as opposed to. Uh, I, I, I hope so. I don't know. I just learned Versailles in like, uh, a short conversation. <laughs> no, I, I probably should a common, uh, common and mm -hmm. yeah, say, don't worry, we found it, and then wander off. Uh, I get. I would probably not follow. <laughs> I mean, that's just typical next procedure right there. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Take over problem from captain. <laughs> Handle problem. It's great, man. I'm probably just like walking with my hands behind my head, like ah. It's not great. <laughs> this is how it should have been. The sun is shining. <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and as I said, like there are, and there's a quite a good chunk of Vesk kicking around, by the way, as well. As I said, this is unusual because you don't know of why they would be here. There was never Vesk on this planet before. Probably be looking at them. I probably would be thinking about it, I guess, in the back of my mind, but not really like. Probably not really jumping into any weird conclusions yet. Other than, oh, there's a lot of Vesk in this planet, must be the heat, you know? Like. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. Guess it's that time of the year! <laughs> you know, you know, <laughs> And this is like Florida, they all retire here. Plus, a year <laughs> on this planet lasts three years of what we would consider a year. So, so it's great. Like three it used to be a whole day time. Mm -hmm. yep, yep. Pretty sure I failed the culture role for this planet, like, pretty terribly. So, like, yeah. I know nothing. Like, I know nothing. Like, this could be just like a pure rescue resort because mm -hmm. of the desert. It's like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> the best school here. Like, so many things happen on this planet as well, and I love that you know nothing of it, and you're in the diplomatic corps. You were the diplomatic corps, and I love it. I like, I did, there's a pile of 
like data pads full of all the info you were meant to read sat in like a lost property on like this problem with it, like cold and dead Absalom station at the moment, just floating in space. <laughs> a box oh, of your yeah, old stuff you hawked uh, when you left from your ship. <laughs> Uh, Zig, probably when I was just walking there as well. It was probably just stiffing a lot of work when I was there. Like, just like, ugh, I hate this job. I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> like, mm. So, Zig, what was happening? Yes, um, Zig would literally just like nod and, well, um, I think he would take a moment whilst everyone sort of like walks off and then just sort of <sighs> scamper following the captain. Mm hmm. Okay. He has literally no idea what has been said or gone down. He's just <laughs> assuming yeah, Captain Nick knows. He's gonna say you don't speak. Best. You don't speak Versa either, do you? I do not. I think it's only. In fact, Lyco, does he speak Versa or is it just Shakos? Um, let me check that because I was either. I think it was Shakos. In <laughs> process of determining. What additional language? Uh, no, I don't. I, I I was gonna add a language, but I hadn't determined what it would be yet. Mm -hmm. I think I can add probably two at this point, actually. Probably languages are stupid in the system. Yes. <laughs> yes, Nick. That's why second generation will solve that by having forty-three languages. <laughs> then I've got something to spend the points on. <laughs> that was the answer. More languages. <laughs> um. It would make sense, like. Different cultures exist within the same species and things like that. No, they don't. It's a lie. That's a vicious <laughs> lie. <laughs> Star Wars has taught me anything. Yep. They're all the same. Galactic basic for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, you head off to this uh, salvage company, and <laughs> yeah, you pass by obviously what seem like fairly reputable businesses and. You slowly start to head into less reputable areas. Does this concern anyone? Because it's clearly getting... This concerns me. Nah. This is exactly as I expect. This is probably your, 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 this is your, in your haven, to be honest. Uh, this is ideal. This is your, like, getting flashes of Akaton back. <laughs> it is. Even on Absalom, I'd, I'd have hung about on the lower decks. Mm -hmm. It's where you get all the best salvage. Yeah, you're damn right. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so you set yeah, off that. I think, mm -hmm. I think as we, as we progressed, like Zig would like try and keep closer pace mm -hmm. with everyone, and occasionally like drop into you know um, doll fours and like probably keep pace as we get into more sketchy. Yeah, and just kind of like scamper <laughs> up beside like... the captain because the captain seems to be kind of happily yeah, yeah. ambling. I think um, uh -huh. Alice is probably following alongside Nix because she's kind of used to that, quite frankly. Um, Alice and the captain's conversations mostly went along the lines of, so I can lie and it's okay? And the captain went, aye. <laughs> so, aye. Sorry. <laughs> it's fine, totally fine. Um, so she's probably just kind of keeping it for the <laughs> <laughs> But I think, like, next you probably notice this as well, that maybe as you're kind of fixed on navigating the towards this place. Um, Alice is probably just trying to take in everything around you as well, you know, and kind of pointing at things and be like, oh, we should go there and oh, we should buy things from here. And it's, you know, ridiculous levels of like cybernetics that this, like this, this race are very good at like cyber. Mm -hmm. So for her, the idea of like going, remember that time where I used to be an experimental battle suit and now I'm not and I don't know what I can do now? What if I got a gun arm? You know, like that's the type of stuff she's coming out with. Even though it's not that she wants to go rip off an arm and get a new gun arm, it's just that she could. And yeah, that's exciting. I think there'd be probably some shared back and forth because in that year down we had, mm. I rigged myself up with a bunch of cybernetics. Mm -hmm. I've probably not spent much time discussing. Yeah, right. It's so yeah, I imagine some of them are versatile in origin. Plus, I like the idea that you've probably been tinkering together, right? Let's face it. Mm. Whether or not she was aware of what she was even helping with because she was probably just being really weirdly embarrassed and just being there because she liked you, you know, helping out. Mm -hmm. And occasionally you liked not having to stretch for all the tools. So, 
Yeah. Even though most of those yeah. are built in now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably a bit of sharing stories from Hackathon as well. Because you didn't get really much opportunity to... Uh, yeah, and then yeah. I think that's probably what brings up the fact that there's maybe a bit of nostalgia for you here where you're thinking back to like you are working on all this stuff together. Um, and this mm-hmm. is maybe why she's excited about it. And maybe we end the kind of flashback in the scene that we would have got from Nix as he's walking and she's kind of babbling away and he thinks back on this part where she sat cross-legged on the floor of the, the lab piecing stuff together for you. And then you're talking mm-hmm. about like your time in Akaton and how you were obviously like a bit of a, like literally a scrapper, right? And then, yeah. then obviously she would be like maybe looking at like your random trinkets and she's like, oh, we should go there one day. And then obviously maybe that's where it kind of fades out into like we like turn the audio back up on Alice again as you kind of come to. And uh, she then turns back and she goes, so is this what Akaton's like? Um, it's not as clean. But, I mean, these particular areas... It's it's very similar to like to this, just all over. Mm. Uh, there's less of the spires. Yeah, because this is like again, we're still like looking at like Coruscant and the nice shiny bits, really. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, so I guess it's like this street without the backdrop, mm-hmm. more dust. And yeah, and she kind of just seems like really. I wouldn't even say like really excited, just really interested in everything that's going on and the idea that this is like what you've described Akaton being like from what she can like, you know, mm. remember you saying. And yeah, obviously it's quite exciting for her because the idea that then you might go to Akaton together appeals to her. Yeah. Um, I'd, I'd point out the prices are cheaper in Akaton as well. And then she... Uh, Probably. Yeah. It's reputable people, but And then she's like, I don't remember you talking about buying many things in Akaton. Hmm. We mostly found them. Hmm. And she kinda of starts to get lost in thought a bit at that idea of going this sounds a lot like theft. <laughs> <laughs> it's salvage. Hmm. It's These are all images of verses by the way that I'm popping in. Uh, mm-hmm. just so as folks can see in the chat because it's very pretty but yeah so as you just walk along uh, does Zig broach Zora at all are you just keeping pace with each other does Zora like break the silence at any point because it's not exactly nearby I think Zig is just like just attempting to keep close he's not really He's, I think he's still sort of dazed from the events of previous. Mm. Um, like the, everything that's happened has been just a bit intense, so he's doing that thing that's inter- very internalized. Yeah, Mad Zig, Sunny Road. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Okay. <coughs> so there we go. There's an end for Zora, right? Because realistically, this entire place is shiny as fuck. Right, <laughs> and Zig is quiet. That's so, concerning. I would yeah. see him kind of like, not struggling to keep up, but having to keep a brisker pace than the rest, I suppose. I guess I would like look at him, see, do I jump on? I like point him back, obviously. I think, I think Zig would pause at that. Because I don't think anyone's ever offered. <laughs> I think Zig's just always done. <laughs> mm-hmm. And um, he would he would kind of like blink for a moment and you know cock his head to the side and not really know how to respond to that. And I think in the like in the distance, like we've got used to it in like the foreground and in the background, we've just got like both Alice and Nick looking over like a hollow map, pointing in different directions. But like I guess like Zora would just kind of do like the eye roll because like and they scream that was that. his sort of awkward yeah, way to like, uh-huh. like try and start a conversation because like this is like the best old day conversations already like yeah yeah, yeah. yeah there's no like consoling so it's just, like, these awkward sort of like icebreaker 
Like, <laughs> Icebreaker, I think, was you one of your like, instructors. He's like, <laughs> uh, I'm just kind of like, I don't want to be fine if you don't want, if you don't want to, that's fine. Like, I'll just keep no, on no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's just uh, you've got sort like, of like, like Aaron. No, you just say he would kind of like, just kind of like slowly, kind of really awkwardly attempt to like scramble up his back, not with the same sort of fluidity that he would. I like to believe that the camera the is just staring like the US office style at Zora's face as Zora stares at the camera as Zig slowly I'm climbs. <laughs> I'm not going to bite. My tail doesn't have a mind of its own. You're fine. Kill you. Yeah, he yeah. would. He would. He would climb up on the the captain's back very awkwardly. Okay. Do I feel awkward? <laughs> <laughs> and then Zig would like he would he would stand there for a, like just like on the back of him and going. Hmm. Mm. We we can I can just walk. <laughs> Yeah, I would like. Maybe that's for the best. Wait. Yeah, <laughs> this, this, I like that. There's, scrapples died. there's just this awkward like climb down the other side of Zora. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think it's wrong. I like the idea that the camera then switches to like Zora climbing down the other side, and then we go back just to you know to the the people looking at the map. And Alice is like, slow down a bit to like Nix as you're walking. Why? Let's just and she kind of like pulls like your your comm device open so the map expands. Like, let's pretend we don't know where we're going, because Zig's really quiet. Oh, I missed the end of that. Sorry. I said let's pretend we don't know where we're going for a moment, because Zig's really quiet and that's strange. This is Alice saying this to next five, so they're pretending to be lost, to kind of slow everybody down to see if you'll speak. To Zora, essentially, or like Nix or her, because obviously you've not really spoke much to Nix or her. You've kind of spoke a bit to her mm -hmm. though on the ship. Um, there was that really bizarre conversation. Then you just ate chocolate together. Um, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. That was that was the good times. Yeah. Before the crash. <laughs> Before I melted the people. <laughs> Before you were mediated them and ripped them apart with your mouth. Yeah, Anakin, and uh, <laughs> so. <laughs> no, I think what you mean Zesk Zesk <laughs> uh, Just so we don't get sued And then uh, Yeah, so They're essentially buying you guys time to have this moment But then I think as soon as uh, mm -hmm. She sees that you just climb up one side awkwardly And climb down the other side uh, <laughs> Alice looks just right at Nyx Who I don't know if Nyx is picking up the subtleties of any of this But uh, she says That should be you what do you mean? Here, he's welcome here if he wants. I don't think he knows that. And then you just hear her like, oh, as she's eating one of those candy bars, or the energy bars. Are you worried about him, Alice? She just slowly eats, like, staring at you, and just like, slowly nods as she's chewing. And then asks, like, she kind of like swallows hard and then she goes, I think so. I think this is worry. Very well. Zig, why don't you come and join me? Join us up here. I, Alice like half chokes on like that last bit she was trying to eat as if she wasn't really expecting to be so <laughs> like, oh, uh, <laughs> mm. <laughs> Brings open a comm device, looks at nothing, you know, no notifications because everything she knows is here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, Zig would be very startled by this. Yeah, so like you just climb off um, of Zora and you see her obviously next five shows. Zig. Um uh, firstly <laughs> because <laughs> ever since the incident, myself and Nix Five's interactions have been somewhat limited. Mm -hmm. Um I think I don't, I don't know if he would say anything. I think he would just kind of look at the captain, then look at Nix, and then like kind of go towards them, but not super like super fast, you know? Yeah, 
They're not that far away. Probably anyways. still yeah. actually just like just like in, in between keeping pace with the captain and slightly like pulling ahead a little bit as as they've sort of walked on. Well, they've, they they they, well. they walked on a bit and then stopped to look lost and then that's when you and Kanozora had your little moment. Um, right. Okay. But yeah, it was yeah. mostly because Alice was like, "You're really quiet for some reason. And I'm just going to stop and see what happens." <laughs> I was just, just kind of shrug like, oh, I tried." <laughs> <laughs> Hands back yeah. behind the head. <laughs> I think, yeah, Zig would head over to Nix and Allison, and um, but keep you know like maybe like a a meter, half a meter between them, just kind of like stand there. Uh, yeah, I think seeing him hesitate, Nix would almost like pat his shoulder. Mm-hmm. You know, that's the way this is normally done. So like, Ziggy just see Nick's kind of tapping on his shoulder. I think Zig feels even worse. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest. Um. Alice finishes her candy he, bar. I think Zig would kind of try and try and keep pace with the two of them, but like if if, um, but more on the other side of Nick. Yeah, I think we're probably still standing there. Yeah, it's going to say the map. They probably haven't moved. Okay, yeah. yeah. That's a little stationary. Mm-hmm. Yep. Next, cool. next, just looking expectantly. I think it was it. Um, looks like um, well, you 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 okay? <laughs> yes, I'm told you're being quiet. Oh. Are you okay? Um, you hear the crunch of the, yeah. the last bit of the... <laughs> um, I think Zig would say, yeah, no, you'd be like, yeah, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. Yeah, I, I think, I think, mm. and then he'd look at Alice and look at Alice and say, are, are Alice just okay? awkwardly looks away really quickly. Oh, like her eyes go really big for a second, and she just looks away as if oh, I wasn't paying attention. Again, looks at her blank notification screen on her phone. Then Alice. you look back at Nick's and be like, "Is is is she okay?" Alice, are you okay? I am completely fine. Can you answer, Zig? She kind of like turns and nods like really solemnly to you. Hmm. Alice, okay. you're worried about Zig. Zig is here now. And she kind of looks between the two of you. And she's like, It's not that I was worried about Zig. I worried about you and Zig. Now it's really awkward because I'm in the middle of this. So she just like goes into like her kind of jacket pocket thing, pulls out two bars, just puts them in your hands and just walks away and goes to talk to Zora. Well that was tattle. Please are now holding these energy bars. (laughs) Are you two actually okay? Uh, we seem to be better than ever. Did... Did I... Did I... Did I kill Alice? <laughs> no, Zig. You didn't kill Alice. There... Something else happened to Alice. I just... You maybe just jump started it a little. How does that? How does? How? What? I don't understand. Neither do I. Um, 
I don't know what you were trying to achieve. Alice's magic. Yes. But she didn't understand when I told her. So I, and then he would like tap his, like tap his head. Mm -hmm. Like, so I tried to show her. Did you ask her? Ask is a bit strong. I know you didn't mean any harm, Zig. But... Particularly with something complicated. Yeah, magic and technology. You you had no idea whether that would short circuit her, whether that could fry her. But it did, maybe sort of. In I a way, no. It changed her, but yeah, I guess that's the best outcome, possibly. Hmm. But the point is still stands. It wasn't... It wasn't urgent. It wasn't... critical to what we had to do. And... Yeah. And you took that away from her, and I don't know. It's I don't know whether you were just being foolish or. Whether it's because you, she's robotic, but yeah, there's an assumption there of I don't know what I did. I didn't mean to I believe that it's. I guess there's a bit of a smirk on Nix's face there. <laughs> I just... Maybe I'm being sensitive to it. Because, uh... Yeah. We have histories, right? Hmm. Yeah. Just... Be careful with that next time. You're a powerful kid. Uh, I don't think you... I don't think you realize how much sometimes. Hmm. And that, that could have gone very wrong. I'm starting to realize I don't know what I can do. Can I be hearing this? Because I definitely think I would at least sniggle. <laughs> Since he was a powerful kid. Well, he like, I think it. for you then, like, you just see Alice walk up to you and do that kind of, you know, cutting the throat action. <laughs> and she's like, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> like, and she's almost like, you know, like pursing her lips a bit together as if she's like, oh, no. Um, and she just walks up and she's like, we should talk about anything else. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I would just kind of look at her and then just not talk. <laughs> okay, and like, just be hands behind the head. She kind of just nods like, solemnly and then just um, holds up a energy bar. She's like, last one? Well, oh, I definitely, actually. Yeah, I would nod <laughs> and grab <that> button. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> just start <laughs> chewing on the bar. Then uh, she just, I don't know, sits on an appropriate bench next to you um, while those two talk. Uh, and yeah, it's up to you. Like By that point, you could have maybe overheard the conversation because maybe they're not being as quiet as they think they're being. Um, or that you and Alice are just sat on the bench way closer than intended. I'm probably just be like stunned a bit. Like, you know, that awkwardly sort of. Do 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 do. Sort of then. Yeah, the like waiting thing. on your friend to introduce you to their other friends you don't know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But yeah, and then obviously we go back to the, uh, you know, he's a powerful kid, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you have your snigger, of course. And then. Um, <laughs> And yeah, so what's the conclusion to that conversation then, or does it keep going? Um, it's just. I'm sorry we didn't have much time to talk sooner. It's been busy. Yeah. I'm. It. Yeah. But. Next time you had those eyes, please talk to me first. Okay. Yeah. Like Zig would have his fist clench at this point. And I think we're gonna need your help figure out the rest of it anyway. Because this, Nick says, pointing to himself. Not exactly normal. All the kind of white veins all up your arms and like your kind of fingernails to glow mm. underneath them. Your eyes white. Yeah. I, th- I think for like that it would be like the kind of first time that Zig actually takes in the extent of the change. Mm. Um. Like how how like how different he actually looks comparative to. Yeah, because the faceplate and everything's different as well. Yeah. Um. And I think it would be the first time he's kind of taking all of that in. Um, and then, you know, he would, uh, he'd be both kind of sort of, kind of very concerned and also very sort of uneasy about it. <laughs> um, and whatever facial expression goes with that feeling is the facial expression he's making. Yeah, because it must be a, a case of like, you're getting back to familiar ground with somebody you felt estranged yeah. from when you realise they're not necessarily the person you used to know. Yeah. I think I think it's kind of like the when the you know, the initial thing happened, he always felt like, Oh well, it's Nick's, it looks kinda like Nick's, therefore it's Nick's, but he had the kind of social detachment from it. Mm. And it's kind of the opposite now where it's like Feeling I'm kind of more on terms this is kind of it's it's it is Nix is in there, but then looking at it, it's like so physically different that it's like oh, mm. this is uncanny valley on the opposite end of the scale. <laughs> no, I think that's yeah, that's a good point, and I think it's something that obviously like Zora kind of shrugged off, which was the uh, ah, you look a bit different, but she's really different too. Can we fix everything, please, before it all falls apart or blows up on us? Um, <laughs> Because again, it's the just the practicality, right? The absolute raw practicality mm-hmm. of there are many things I could have an issue with right now, but right now, I might blow up. So let's stop that. Then I have time to worry about everything else, like why you're now glowing white instead of green. It's also something completely as Zara's understanding as well, though. He's mm-hmm. like, okay, my two androids are metamorphic. The both of them say it's not normal, but how do I know they don't know that's no normal? Mm. Is that just what Androids do? <laughs> like, like... I mean, he has like reincarnated five or four times, right? So, yeah, we're not actually sure if it is five times or four times. Because um, it's like, you're the fifth Nyx, but is that was there a Nyx one? And was he just called Nick? This is the part I'm st- Fans can argue about this forever, we should never answer it. Um, it's also whether Nick yeah. was the original identity. Yeah, right. Because <laughs> um, that'd be interesting if the numbering scheme was the only thing that actually meant anything. Because um, mm-hmm. that's just now like Alice <clears throat> 3. <laughs> and like, <laughs> I mean, realistically, it is Alice 3.0, right? Um, yeah. It's actually what our character sheet's labelled, just on my side. Um, 
<laughs> is Alice three point oh because my personal theory is that it's the number. So Nix is the number, and mm-hmm. as he progresses, the name changes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> like it was Bill two. So the Nix is actually five. Yeah. Is it going five? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Stranger things have happened, I guess. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so like I think with that as I well, like it is like there's a lot of things out with obviously Zora's comprehension. We had that nice moment in the uh, the cargo bay where Zora tried to like do do his mystical meditation and went, ah, "I'll just go ask somebody else." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Old Sars did teach me how to meditate too well. <laughs> I'm kind of getting there now, but I don't realise that. Mm. Like. <laughs> That's it. I mean, let's face it, you've kind of just coasted on your reputation, really, for a bit. Um, which is, you know... Yeah. Pretty much what you've done. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> uh, right, so, I think with that, maybe we... Um, we maybe fade out on what like what happens at the end of that conversation. Is there just a silence? Do you look at each other? Do you just walk off together? Do you climb up on his back? Like, what's the last shot we get? of that. Maybe just from the point of view where we're looking over the shoulder of Alice sitting down munching on a bar. Uh, clearly a second bar after she said mm. that was her last one to the captain. Um, and Zora just standing there awkwardly next to her sitting down. Like we're looking through the middle of them at you two. What do we see? Obviously I don't know what Zeke's going to do, but from Nick's perspective it's just that's where mm-hmm. he opens the candy bar. That he's just been holding stationary this uh-huh. entire time. Yeah, maybe maybe Zig realizes he's kind of like squished his a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I I don't I don't think Zig would like just straight up go like climb up his back or whatever. But I think he would definitely kind of stand more relaxed and definitely kind of as like if Nick opens the candy bar and whatever. Um, just kind of stand like nearish him, mm-hmm. um, and just like you know, as as like later when they just like start walking and stuff, he would kind of walk next slash behind mm-hmm. Nick's, depending on pace and. Yeah, and I think maybe if as well if we had the if we had the camera like looking at Zig's face for this, we'd maybe finally see maybe for the first time in several sessions, your face relax back to what we'd be used to seeing from the start of the game. You know, maybe uh-huh. we haven't realised that you've been keeping like your cheeks tensed or something the, like the entire time. Mm-hmm. It just looks like you got like super definition in the last few sessions, but really it's actually the tension. You finally like go, yeah, you know, and relax your face a mm-hmm. bit back to, you know, Zig's normal pose, as it were. Um, Zig, do you actually like these things? <laughs> <laughs> we fill a hole. <laughs> I think with that, like, we figured out an Alice just like finishing the last one of the extra one she snuck, uh, and we click over to uh, our wonderful Lola Lalaiko. Hello. So I think that's probably been enough time for you to have had your meeting with Babak, right? Yes. Um, as yes, you yes. head back out, because you parted ways with Shakos, uh, mm-hmm. and yes. the nice kind of foyer scene. You know, don't fuck it up. Type parting yeah. ways questions. That um, so yeah, where do you go straight always... away when you leave? Like, I think you're just maybe you just cut back to you standing outside, being like, so. Well, first point of call was sort of like establish a base, wasn't it? Yeah, Not find somewhere base. to like, like essentially, like essentially the equivalent of a motel room, right? Yeah. It'll... Find the accommodation, but also sort of like a staging point. So yeah, base isn't the worst word for it, I mm-hmm. suppose. Um, find a base of operations. That's probably one of the first things in his mind. But uh, to facilitate that, I think I have to contact the captain, mm-hmm. sort of see where they've got to. So I'm not like doubling effort and accidentally booking it as a room when they've already got one or something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, so I would uh, come. Uh, Sora. Cool. You're going to connect up to the network as well? Sure. Cool. Because remember, your ship would have helped you broadcast things, but that's miles yeah, away. Yeah, that's true. So you need to... Mm-hmm. Yep, okay, so yeah, yeah. Connect yeah, up absolutely. to Versa. Again, it's just a case of you pop in your, your space email 
uh, you say okay to cookies and hit okay and then you're connected to verse sites internet or verses internet um, um, of course, you know, if I really need to access it important through their internet, I'll just use a burner com. <laughs> or, or incognito anyway. mode. <laughs> no, that's too, too true. Um, so, yeah, I, 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 I buzz Zora. Yes. Zora speaking. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I will respond uh, formally also. Captain Quint here. Uh, I've. I love what's a great pause there because I love the idea that we get that scene and then Zora looks at the phone that clearly says L Quint <laughs> as the contact that's been saved, or Quint L, it would be. It rolls eyes, puts com back to ear. <laughs> um, I've uh, just left a uh, meeting with Commander Babak of the stewards um, regarding the current circumstances on Verses. Uh, I, I, I'll discuss it further in person, but uh, he, he, he's asked me to uh, investigate some matters. I, I may be occupied with that. I wanted to confer with you before I took any action, but I have asked for assistance in uh, securing a base of operations uh, for our time here. Uh, shall I go ahead with that? I mean, or, or, or is there anything? Uh, have, have you guys begun anything down that route yet? Well, currently we're still on route to get the ship um, okay. salvaged, so. So we until can handle I handle that front, that'd yeah. be great. Uh, I'll 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 set to it, and when I have something, I will contact you. Roger, Dodger. Uh, sure, Kath. <laughs> <laughs> we get we get the suspicion musical cue that would be in Lyco's soundtrack <laughs> because Lyco goes, "What's up with the captain?" <laughs> But yeah, anything else on that conversation, or do you disconnect? Um, I'll sort of wait for a second to see if there's a response. It's probably just hung up, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> and then I <laughs> follow up. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. And yeah, I will, I, I will sort of set out to secure a form of accommodation um, so here's the thing right let's what is the what's your total worth as a group right what are you playing with right what's your oh god this is something I didn't fix before we went on holiday <laughs> but we know mine is definitely fucked right. uh, it say. is not accurate it's not a thing um, I've got 31 and if we include like the ship's funds as well into that I guess you can see I've got like 72 they're just basically half all my money's mm -hmm. on the ship. So you get 72k. 70 mm -hmm. Which is not insignificant. Because okay, obviously it's whatever you've got to like play with asset-wise right now, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, and obviously um, that's digital. I think that's so. something that I'm probably going to need to go through the past sessions for, because we did discuss that, and I obviously have failed to update at a certain point in terms of money. Um, I don't know how, how expensive crazy flipping gaggly is all, and all that crap, but like... Quite, but not, 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 not usually compared to, you know, what we'd earned. Um, I would say you'd probably be in the low 20,000s at the very least. Definitely not 430 credits. No, <laughs> like, no it isn't that low. I, I have not bought that much. Um... Because you've, oh, even bought, you've probably be... bought the least like, equipment as well, to be honest with you, like, than everyone is. Like, that's um, why. Other I've, than yeah, I think probably have. And to be fair, you fed I, I mean, a lot of it to the, the cube. So. Yeah. But a lot of that is like spare <laughs> stuff that you'd picked yeah. up for free. Yeah. Like, that wasn't the really stuff that you'd ever bought. It was the guns and stuff that we'd like, bought, but we're and not a bunch of, not And a bunch of Nexus stuff. 
No budget next to <laughs> stuff, yeah. Um, I, I think, uh, given I've had permission from the captain, I think it, it can it be assumed that I have access to the funds then? Oh, sure, but you find out how much you need. Phone captain, say, can you transfer me this? Done. Right? Unless you just want to go back and have that conversation. But I just assume it because if he said sort it out, you'd go sort it out and then say, right, transfer me this. Yeah. That would I guess sense. when he's done that, like when I guess if he's done that, he would actually just get some funds, like if they yeah. call, because he would assume, like, because I guess that would be kind of standard. But then, like, how much, you, how much is salvaging yeah, your ship going to be? Uh, uh, it's question. probably going to be a bit, but he's probably going to hope that seventy odd grand is going to be enough. Mm. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, so how much my can it cost to get accommodation, it can that's be that. what we're going to find out, mm -hmm. um, because my first step I think would be I actually no I have pretty we, we I rolled for knowledge and it makes sense I did well. Hey, also yeah like this is a planet I'd say you're familiar with this is like where the stewards main base was etc this is like where the packed worlds was kind of built up from do you know what I mean like this is this is a well to do place you know yeah um, and, and I think like I, I was familiar enough that I'd probably be able to make my way to an appropriate area where I know there'd probably be decent volumes of... Because we, we weren't in reasonably sized space, right? Yeah, we like, are you definitely want somewhere that can, like, house plus, something. Plus. Yeah. yeah, And so, maybe shackles. And, and also, yeah, potentially others might be mm -hmm. assisting us, or we might be assisting them. Or we might just meet somebody we know, who knows? Um, I, I think... Uh, yeah, so we're looking for a fairly large space. So uh, I'll head to. I thought I don't think I need to another make another culture rule, but if you feel like I do, no, I, don't, I would say like keep in mind that you got info from Babak, right? As well. As well, yeah. So yeah. I'm prob probably as well informed as could be, really. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, I w I will head to to a region where there's relatively, basically the cheapest housing I can find that's not. You know, actually outside in the dust. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say yeah, because that's that's way back in like the the dirt villages or the the dust yeah. villages. Because what I want is like the, the the cheapest in the city. So 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 that we can actually have a large base and not bankrupt ourselves, and also maybe sort of lay low somewhere that people aren't necessarily inclined to look. Mm -hmm. Not that obviously this city isn't going to be quite as impoverished even in its worst places as some cities are. Mm. Uh, it's my understanding at least it seems like a place that's relatively even it's worst is better than some planet's best aye like, the, yeah Ver know, Versus is definitely space. like a, an A plus planet right when you stay in the belt like the line I think it's called yeah. when you stay within the line um, it's definitely better than being you know toasted or frozen with the people that live <laughs> out in the wastelands there's obviously a lifestyle that's restricted because of that you know security comes at a price blah 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 and now there seem to be vesk everywhere but you know that's fine um no you can head that way yeah you can head off and look for um i think it would be called economy housing yeah let's go for that um now the first problem. I know Lyco would require refer to it as like high volume economy housing yeah <laughs> I'm very sorry, but <clears throat> I should have done this probably way, 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 way at the start. I'm wondering, um, because it kind of really fits the bill exactly what I'm looking for. Can I, can I like just quickly do that real quick? Just to, just to roll. Because it's essentially what we're doing really, is looking for a service, right? Right, so a DC culture check, recognize your name, blah 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 blah. Iconic profession, celebrity looking for, blah 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 blah. Hey. Now, is this in relation to your salvage? Yeah, yeah, because I mean, I could maybe get salvage for a discount, at least if I find somebody, you know. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, like, let's do that in a wee second then, right? We'll come back to you in your cool. salvage mission. Um, Just. Just sorry to interrupt. No, it's okay. because I was reading it and I was like, I really should have done um, this. Like, way early I would say, like, really this is about. something that we probably use for your salvage. Let's maybe not use it for the. Oh, excuse me. I just don't see how you, like, it couldn't anyway because he's yeah. with the other team. 
Um, well, maybe if it was like I'll put you in touch with the guy or something like that. But no, I think like I think we would probably prefer that people not you know maybe that it not be a while. You know, in fact, you're not going to well, hide everything from. You want to do an espionage mission or a surveillance mission on yeah. the Vesk general, and you're going to get the secret base by saying I am a Vesk celebrity. So yeah. I would say that yeah, Lyco probably has the right idea, and mm. just you know pop the phone on silent. So you can go make the, all these deals. Um, plus, you don't need any help anyway. You had Babak basically do the same thing. Um, yeah. For you. Yeah. And it's a fine contact. So. Yeah, and then to do that, you basically said, "Cool, I'll go spy on the re- really scary Tagia man, <sighs> um, the Grand Epoch Annihilator, or whatever the fuck his name was. Mm. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, That's the Grave cool. Epoch Annihilator. Sorry, the Mongol Grave <laughs> Epoch Annihilator. Such a great name. <laughs> and then. Uh, <laughs> So yeah, like I think the first problem you hit, right, Lyco, is economy housing is the equivalent of like sleeper pods, right? So mm. people that come in the transport want to spend some time in the city to see the city and enjoy its nightlife, but not necessarily spend a lot of money on like we're not setting up a house here. Um larger property or even you know cheap Housing is going to be extortionate. This isn't like you could oh. go find a, like a like a cave in the the basements of a Absalom, you know. Okay, I have an idea then. But Why um, you could what, read, what I was going to say is you could. Storage. I was going to say exactly. You could look yeah. into storage facilities that you could then put like cots into, right? And we, you know, we could maybe stick up a few dividers, make little offices. Oh, that sounds great. This sounds like an undercover mission. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's storage then. Mm-hmm. So, you've got your list of contacts from Babak. You're going to follow up on storage. How much are you yes. willing to spend on storage? Because it will be... Now, by cost, I mean the cost will go up for anonymity and space, if that makes sense. But um, there's a third factor of accessibility. So, how obvious is it? Is it like, welcome to A Star Storage Services, you know, the one that's on every billboard? Or is it the, you know, the one at the end of the phone book where nobody really knows it because it's a really second rate one? Or, so that's your anonymity cost you've then got the size of the space you want so you can just tell me in squares of the game right how big you want this to be and i'll give you a price for that as well and then is this something you could drive a tank into and out without people noticing or is this somewhere down like the main promenade right there's your three factors and if you want to add a fourth factor let me know okay so specifications coming to the top of my head are we want it to have sufficient internal space for working storage, actual storage of our stuff, places to sleep, and also just living quarters. They don't need to be Work, huge. Living, sleep, storage. Um, like the dimensions for a ship, for instance, would be fine. Hmm. Uh, maybe something a bit larger because obviously it's not a ship so space isn't a, p- a premium the same way it is in a ship mm-hmm. um, you'd have to worry about engine room like stuff, exponentially yeah. increasing the, the amount of energy it takes to move and yada mm-hmm. yada um, so what I'm thinking is what what are the dimensions of our ship and then we throw a little bit on top of that um, just to have a bit of extra space specifically for work. Mm-hmm. Right, you. So, you tell me, because you know the game dimensions, right? You remember the ship, how big it was, I roughly. I remember the ship dimensions. But you know your your room was like 10 foot by 10 foot by almost 10 foot on that other side, because there were all those... Yeah, it was, it was about four, but one with the door mm-hmm. sort of slices through half of one. Mm-hmm. Um... I think we could condense the living space down. A this can be bit. a group conversation as well. It doesn't need to all just be on you. Oh yeah, this... yeah. I just I was just starting with like mm-hmm. what Lyco is thinking, um, and and I think that it would be 
advisable to make sure that our storage base is quite significant and our workspace is quite significant and everything else can kind of fall from the wayside because like if it comes to be that for whatever reason you know someone wants uh a bit of space well you know they can go elsewhere you know it's a nice city there's a ton, a ton of things to do you know mm-hmm. if, if if you know zigs out for a night in the tiles <laughs> a nice lady rat and um, then you know there, there are hotels you don't want to be bringing them home to you know mm-hmm. a fucking hidden storage lot full of what that, essentially well first of all that would look like he was going right? to murder her right so because yeah. like, <laughs> i'm imagining it like was literally going to turn this into like you know in the serial killer drama where it's episode two, they're on to the fact that something's happening now. And all the and string and pin tacks and everything. They've got yep. the whiteboard out, yep. so you know <laughs> shit's going down. Like, that's what like, all we do. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And I feel that that's going to have to take up a fair bit of space just because it, I think he won't just do it himself. When he, Why would he when he's got his team there? Exactly. I, I think he'll, he'll, he will in, encourage them to assist as best as possible. And as such, he'd need workspace. It wasn't just his workspace. So I think Lyco's going to be looking for somewhere that is pretty substantial and trying to subdivide it into big workspace, biggish storage, because storage can be a little bit more compact with because you can chuck stuff on top of each other. Mm-hmm. Um, they're moderate room. For, for living quarters because we have five of us and you know we do have contacts on the planet so there could potentially be more at some point and then sort of general living needs again the the bare minimum so long as you so long as we can get by without being noticeably unpleasant or unkempt then that's fine mm-hmm. uh, so so what are we thinking like half the room space in the ship maybe or I mean if anyone else has any any thoughts I mean this list or any requirements as well because obviously again. I imagine Lyco would yes, know what you course. would need of course um I mean we just said it's kind of fine to be honest with you I mean the best man would be happy with like a bed and a cupboard so like it's, it's all good as long as it's warm Hence why I've added power slash hygiene into the list. Because <laughs> you'll need some way to obviously <clears throat> power your storage unit. Or but just look for one that's a bit more upmarket that actually has like, you know, power sockets. <laughs> Anything from Nix that's a requirement? Uh space to build horrible weapons. <laughs> Yeah, uh, so like a workshop then at least maybe I'll yeah it's something like. they probably want to between that and planning space I guess a workshop would be handy because I mean we did do a lot of wacky stuff like and I did promise them I would build bombs that's true he did say he'd build bombs I'm very KOTOR on Taris vibes right yeah, now yeah it is very Just that isn't it probably <laughs> eating worse shit at this point <laughs> I think it's the red picture isn't it that gives me the Taris vibes the most. Um, mm. But yeah, so I think with that as well then, right, so in terms of the the qualities I mentioned, they're like, oh, so we've got anonymity, obviously then size, we've kind of covered size, right, roughly. Large anonymity, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then accessibility for its location. Don't so, want to be too accessible. Because keep in mind, this is the type of thing where if something happened to the location and you just were like, right, cool, we need to get here. I'm like, well, it's awkward as fuck to get there because it's miles away. And you just go, why? And I go, because you just want it to be out of the way. That's These are the factors that we put in at this point. Oh, yeah, of course. Yep. But um, again, if you're going not, if you're not, if you're not wanting to be too visible, if you want to be discreet, you kind of have to sort of stay off the main... Th- like, people will notice a storage space being used as housing mm-hmm. on, like, a major city street or something. Yep. Plus, if you're in a higher rent district, mm-hmm. guess what? Rent's higher! Mm-hmm. You know, it's... Um, I think a little bit of inconvenience for the sake of actually being more able to stay hidden mm-hmm. and being a little bit more affordable, potentially. 
I feel like having it somewhere that's high visibility alone is a bad idea. Even if it does make it more accessible, that's exactly what we don't want. Mm -hmm. Unless it comes to a situation where, you know, oh dear, we need to escape to it quickly. But even then, if we escaped it quickly and everyone knows where it is, it's kind of a useless place to escape to. So um, then that sounds like you'll need a car or something, right? A vehicle of some kind then? Um, potentially, yeah. To get to and from this location, because you can make it more remote, right? It can be somewhere slightly less hospitable without it being deadly, right? It could be out in the harsher cold side or the harsher hot side where storage is probably much cheaper, but isn't ideal to live in. But if you're buying yourself a giant steel box to live in, it's not the worst, you know? It's a good thing. Raven Resort for Zora, though. You just <laughs> need to go outside and lie down, man, and be like, ah, <laughs> I've good. <laughs> Does that thing where you just kind of like half bury yourself in the sand? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how wise it would be in terms of like access to the city itself, though, to actually go about our business here. That, that's just, my concern. I just want to highlight that an armored transport is 22,400, so currently within budget. Yeah, it's not too bad, actually. Mm hmm. Uh, but again, like, do we want to have to be getting into an armored transport to go out and do some surveillance? You know, or, or such like. I, mm. I don't know. Um, it's guys. I, I, I'm not gonna. Yeah, is it still definitely a great like choice? People would have a good idea about what people would expect anyway, so I don't feel like I'm being too. Mm -hmm. Game me asking. No, definitely uh, not. I'm, I'm definitely pro. You guys having no, no. a way I mean, in on this. I feel like you would at least know what what preferences would be at this point. Like, um, so, the so, assumption that you would know what we'd be looking for as well. Okay, um, uh, I, I agree, and I think, like, okay, so... So, remote, remote location, I think, is definitely one, right? But how remote? So, if, exactly. if everyone has any thoughts Not on that... Not super remote, remote, because you need, to, like, services and stuff like that, like... What if it's in the dodgy area that we're hanging about? I mean, yeah, no, I mean, like, in plain sight at the end of the day. Like, yeah. <laughs> salvage side of town, we can pretend to look like salvages. And keep in mind, the equivalent of, I think Lyco covered this with, uh, you know, the, the worst part of the, this place is still, like, the better part of most places. Um, mm -hmm. Like, it's nothing like Akaton, where you could go five feet in one direction and then nobody knows or cares what happens to you in that place. Yeah. This is more like, Everywhere is under surveillance because this place is full of super high tech, but nobody cares about stuff outside the line. If that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So, anonymity wouldn't exist within the line, on the main stage, like anywhere near a service. Anonymity wouldn't exist because people just wouldn't run businesses in dodgy places. Um, uh -huh. Not here, but that just removes anonymity. It gives you access to services, convenience and probably slightly pricier storage for the space required. Um, whereas if you want more anonymity, you're probably going more remote anyway, anyway, so the access is reduced. But you just could then spend that money on buying something like a car to bridge the gap. Um, mm. If that makes sense. Like there is a bit of a trade-off there, but then you're not under as heavy surveillance. Like maybe the storage lot might have surveillance cameras, but that wouldn't necessarily be that big a task for Nix Five to fix. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like again, it's these are the choices you will make for setting up. That's a base. point actually, because yeah, we know how capable Nix is with that sort of mm -hmm. thing, and it might be that I think, well. I don't need to worry so much about being surveilled because I know that we have means around of getting around that. Um, so perhaps I actually would be a little bit uh, more willing than it might at first initially think mm -hmm. to go for somewhere that's more central, more surveilled. Uh, obviously, we're still wanting to have somewhere that's not immediately visible to people, somewhere that people actually have to look for. Also, an urban cruiser is only 2,210, by the way. Just so you know, the armor transport's a big chunky boy, but like a car essentially is only two thousand two hundred and ten. Like you just could afford a lot of those, like thirty. I mean, yeah. I say like, I, would, I wish just, that was real life. You just could just have yeah. like a, the too fast, too furious scene, really. Um, 
Of course, if we're going to have vehicles, we're probably going to want either larger storage to fit them in or somewhere mm -hmm. discreet nearby to hide them. For example, if I use the urban cruiser again, it is 10 feet wide by 10 feet long by 4 feet high, which isn't the worst mm. because that's like a car, right? It's a square. Um, it's perfectly square. It's a large land vehicle. And then, uh, what else have we got? A police cruiser is a 6,195. Um, it's a large land and air vehicle, though. But that would how long be... Have... Yeah, exactly. That was my next question. <laughs> yeah, how long are you setting up on versus? <sighs> you can guarantee the ship isn't going to be fixed overnight. No, uh, so we've got to be in a way if we don't... Because if we set ourselves up somewhere central, we can offer a service. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Hitch ourselves up as salvages or mechanics or something. Yeah. Mm. And then we've got some sustainable fortune income. Telling. Yes. Yeah. We shall be the salvaging fortune tellers <laughs> that will tell you without going to it what condition your ship is in. Would you like to chance this? Would you like to chance your life at a possible new beginning? Androids, come on down! Meet Zig! <laughs> 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 oh dear! Mm -hmm. And all-terrain transports only eight thousand three hundred and seventy as this well. Is very bad. So yeah, a goblin junk cycle is only four hundred and twenty-five, which even Lyco's unupdated sheet uh, could afford, which is a ah, uh, it's amazing. So yeah, what is it? like so? So far, we've got in our in our theory list. Big enough to have a bunch of working areas, right? So, big enough to kind of divide up, um, which makes sense, right? Indeed. Like secure storage space within the storage block. Because this is a very semi-permanent base, yeah. You know, I mean, why is, not, uh, right? Semi-permanent, or well, I I think more like we want something that we can have. I mean, at the end of the day, I could end up bagging our like ship supplier dealer person you know here and like then we could just have a really good base of operations think, on versus like and then boom. It could yeah, be a it safe house we could do, yeah. this could just be a yeah. safe house you have as a as an asset to the group right exactly yes something that we can sort of pick up drop right not a fallback really, spot that's not absolutely all the time as well we, yeah a place that we can retreat to if we need to be in the region so that's that kind of hiding in plain sight type vibe yeah. to it as well because versus yeah. is like where the space cops live so we can make modifications on it we can mm -hmm. gradually sort of use connections rent it out on space bnb yeah yeah get a nice little cabinet in there oh. <laughs> um, so yeah uh, Dimensions then. Yeah, at least one, this one, uh, with the other two implied, second and third. Uh, I, I'm thinking ten by ten for the rooms. I mean, even if it was going to be like a, a block of five, right? So a five, five square with the, just, that like you could just have bunk beds, yeah. right? We could we could have. Literally, like a fifteen foot by five foot could be six beds, if it was bunk beds. Let's face it, Zig can sleep in a vent. There you go. <laughs> we probably don't all want to be cramped into that. Sad you know, into <sighs> into. Uh, in, right. Tell you I what. Think... Like, I think what we'll do. Right. I think the best thing we can do right now is move ourselves to a new map. And look oh. at the sizing. So let's go. I need to here. Re jingle. Right. Now, by default, this is 25 by 25. I'm going to change it so that it is not really sore in everybody's eyes. So let's change this to these settings. 12 and 2. Ah. I just prefer that. Right, so, you've all got tools. I would say use the polygon line tool and go from there. Oregon line. The Porygon Rhine sounds like some kind of weird war Pokemon thing. Uh, I, I did delete it again, I was just doing that to test it. Yeah, I actually don't see anything, so... Four, five... Oh. I did not mean to do any of this. Ah! Oh. Right. 
That's a ten by that's a ten by ten. That's now a ten by ten. Two, three, five, six, seven, eight. I think he meant ten feet by ten feet. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Ten feet by ten feet. Alright, so you want double so that then basically. No. Because a uh, square's five foot, like so that would be like Well no, hold on, hold on. Uh, I'm gonna use freehand because I'm a fucking idiot. So, if we're talking about something like, yeah, five by five probably would be more than sufficient actually uh, for each, but we could even maybe cut that down to half, so have ten by five, ten by five each, say, sort of thing, um, as bedrooms, etc. Then attach to that. A larger space of maybe, say, 20. And if we take that and subdivide it into storage, um, sort of like entrance, this zigzag represents an entrance. <laughs> Zigging random shit means, yeah, there you go. Uh, I'm working with the tools at my disposal, guys. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> one of the things that I'm thinking as well is like, see, if, if people, if we could design it so that, yeah, I actually have a division here, so people enter here, and this, which I'm about to uh, put a big X through, is like the, not foy, but your sort of entryway, and the first thing you would be confronted on for added security on entry would be. Zig. Sick. Yes. <laughs> it, would, it, it would be nuclear <laughs> annihilation. Um, so I, I, I'm thinking, right, you, you enter, and the first thing you see is storage. Right? Yep. This is storage. That's why it has a two on it. A backwards two. Um, <laughs> so you almost want like uh, a false front. Not quite, but yeah, sort of like a very sort of like quick and, and easy this area is immediately accessible but if you go in the first thing you would see is like oh maybe that's a side office like oh maybe that's the companies you know you wouldn't necessarily immediately think this is part of a much larger storage area mm -hmm. um and so this could be generic workspace um and say i'm going to use the system of just putting x's within the open space to represent what it could be but you want to have somewhere sort of like over here for you know say uh the the police corner let's let's make it a little assault tire um keeping sort of like a few feet in front of the doors relatively clear like that that's not a few feet that's just a random square a few feet and then this gives us a sort of area here which i'm now just drawing circles repeatedly around um which is sort of relatively free and just stuff can be done with. Uh, and what that leaves us with is ample space to walk in and out so we're not completely cramped up in a tiny storage area. Ample space for bed, etc. And maybe some amenities. Now, I actually probably be more efficient to have because we've only got 10 by 5 so amenities in here. So maybe something slightly larger than this, like say I had another set of boxes on here. They'd probably be like one refresher if we're going to use the space term. Yeah, uh, I'm think. okay, right, I'm thinking uh, that draw sheet um, so that's about right. Okay, so we take from here and Oh. Right. Well, look at this as well. While you're drawing that, like every day, what what does he actually need to put in here? What is going to be? Are you? Are we how remote or how close are we going? I think matters because then you need to worry about vehicle space. If you're going to start working on, say, other people's vehicles, you're going to need a workshop big enough to house large vehicles, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So. <clears throat> excuse me. So realistically, if we're going to work on things like that, you're going to need something akin to, well, they're drawing that, so you're going to need so 
E for entry. S for storage. E. 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 So, that nine square in the middle would be like where you put the vehicle to work on. The square around it would be like where you put stuff to work on said vehicle. Mm -hmm. And then you would need literally everything else. So you'd need storage space, you would need living space. Um, so like, you could easily get away with... So looking at that in slightly... I could all right, man, with this. this is Neither terrible. can I. In slightly cleaner boxes than what I had before, I can see that, yeah, that probably doesn't leave an obvious area for like a refresher, etc, etc. Although... Say this is like an entrance. This is an entrance to storage. Maybe this can be another. We can have an entrance here. One for each of the rooms, obviously. And that does leave us with like quite a lot of this space. Sort of maybe rather than having that entrance there, we could have it just be through the storage only. So you have to come in through the storage to gain entry. And this space here could be used for shower, which will represent with random blue dots for water. Um, so we could have like bathroom area taking up this little corner here with the refresher in here. The investigation, which will change to P for police for simplicity's sake. Uh, with the whiteboard and the wall <laughs> and some desks no, 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 no. Uh, and so you have like a nice little t-shape that's quite accessible that leads from all of these doors to that door from which you get through to that door then the front door so I think like that amount of space is actually pretty workable Although I would say add something slightly larger, like, ideally, but I think that is a sort of amount of space we can easily work with. Well, I bet it's probably like two by one, surely. So... Yeah, I've, I've got ten by five for the beds there. Right there. As I say, it depends how comfy blocks. you want them to be, because realistically you could fit a bed into a f like a block of five, right? Or a five by five. Mm -hmm. So, you really don't mm -hmm. need it to be... It just depends how comfy. Like the vest maybe has a bit more trouble with that being eight foot. Um, but then, it just depends if you, the vest wants his own office. <laughs> um, Probably. You know. Wouldn't care. <laughs> well, that's it. Like this is about the the stuff that we do care about. So let's say uh, chuck down what we we do and don't actually want. I mean, if we want to have, like, a a sort of legitimate business front, not that what a lot of what we do isn't legitimate, um, <laughs> I mean, like, like, we're working with the church, we're working with the space cops, that's that's pretty legit. Um, and um, if we want external sources of income, like... That perhaps we could use to build up contacts in the contacts rather in those industries. I, like, I think that yeah, make a larger storage space. Use that for vehicles, um, and we could make some more like that way. Um, I do worry though that having our business and like our our sort of safe house be one thing, or perhaps <coughs> not. Like not the best two things to combine. Mm. Uh, mm. Just for the whole lying low That's side fine. of things. Again, there's no element of hiding in plain sight. Mm -hmm. It just depends, oh. obviously, if you're all running in and out like in ninja gear, covered in blood. Maybe yeah, think... the clients waiting on their like space truck to get fixed. Maybe have well, to me the other the other concern is like that increases the size considerably rather than just like oh you need enough room for a vehicle on top of that. No, you need enough room for a vehicle. And all the accompanying extra stuff. Yeah, you because you don't want like a curtain to be the yeah. segment away from your office where you've got all your your conspiracy. Yeah, I'll just step through wall. to the office, and it's like right, right through there, and you've got like a pin board with like the vest leader's face. Yeah, up. like Domogesh uh, right in the middle of it, with like yeah. big big red circle around him. That's what I think. You didn't see that. Um, yeah, no, I think. If you actually got something like 
or Ryan started drawing and then add Rodwell down the side. Yeah, like I drew, yeah, like there's a hanger, right? So there's like the door in at the bottom, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then as I, I marked out, the the three by three would be what you're actually, like, what's the word I'm looking for here? Like that's the workspace that you would put like the car or something on, right? So uh -huh. that would be that. And then beyond that, that's what we'll build on, right? So that's the workspace around that. So that looks like the garage, right? Yeah. You could build it. You could put like a door in somewhere. So let's um, freehand this in. Uh, there. There's a door. Go on that well, way. I was going to suggest if you have a door going into there, then you have a door into a corridor, and then you have the paranoid space down here. Um, then people can have the. There's quite a few doors between. Uh, also, you could easily have. That. Mm -hmm. um, if you wanted to have like a sealable, you know, like storage area. So, for example, let's say we had, you know, the actual your stuff, and then whatever you're working on at the time. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, realistically, you could, uh, if you had to. So, it would let you actually store things in secret, and then obviously we can build on that. So yeah, like that is an option. And I think a hide in plain sight is a better idea than having another place where people see us coming and going, but nothing else happening. Okay. Yeah. Uh, on Agaton, that would draw attention. Uh, that wouldn't draw attention necessarily, but somewhere like this. Yeah. yeah. Because people might be okay. not wanting to care on Akaton, whereas on here it's a bit more like, is that something that's maybe like you know disturbing the peace? This is definitely yeah. more of a you report what you think is suspicious planet. See something, say something. Yeah, definitely. Whereas in Akaton, it's say something, get shot. Yeah. So. Yeah, snitches get stitches. Yes. <laughs> Okay. Stitches get stitches. Okay, I'm, I'm done with that idea. Then. Right, but um, I mean, keep in mind we can add things on, right? So we've got fake workspace, right? Which is where the the tank thing is. Oh, let's get rid of the tank thing and make it the actual car, so it looks a bit more less, you know, legitimate, right? So fake workspace. What else do you want on here, right? So you want living quarters. So where on here are we going to put? Where you want to actually sleep. Um, I think that'd be a space. Part of this space, probably. Okay. So, mm -hmm. let me get you two seconds. Mm -hmm. Right, so I have. Where are they? I've got some bed tokens here somewhere. What else do we need? So we've got living and sleeping. Well, we don't have living yet, but we've got sleeping. How many beds are we putting down? Because I'm going to assume they're bunk beds for the sake of simplicity. Yeah. So three, presumably. But people can have more space somewhere or whatever. Like that's that part's on you guys. Um, let's see. I definitely would be inclined not to use bunk beds. Okay, but that's fine. That's a choice that maybe Lyco makes in. Um, mm -hmm. So we up the cost. Uh, let's see. So, we'll just dump that one. So, easily a bed could fit in there, right? So, if this is going to be the sleeping area... Um, right, so, realistically, and they could all be split up with a dividers, because keep in mind, five feet is a decent amount of space. Hmm. It's maybe not luxury, right, but it's still... Luxury! Five feet! We would have killed for five feet! Uh, sorry. Right, I think it's safe to say you can all have, like, you know, storage under the bed, right, for your own personal shit. 
<laughs> guns. Lots of guns. So, what else do you want to do with that space? So this. Yeah, we need to work on orientation because we need to get some bathroom and uh, mm -hmm. kitchen facility in there. Mm. Uh, oh, let me just dump a door. Oh, I don't know why that's there. Let's just get rid of that. <laughs> so workspace would ideally be probably about, you know, five long by five across that seems like a reasonable size you don't need it too huge do you want the door it. for that here or do you want it further down here like that I think put it further up just because my th my thinking is like if you have it somewhere up like there maybe um noise that's been generated is kind of coming from this direction, right? You go in there, you follow it through up there. Do you to do, Colin? Here. See this? Please use this to point to things. Okay. Because it saves me having to delete all this crap. Mm -hmm. Like that. It just takes away my beautiful door. Okay. Thank you. So, you know, like so, you want to enter the bedroom, say you're going to the last bed down, you take that route, right? Yeah. My thinking is that that avoids people going, what's this noise coming from behind the wall? No, there's a major thing, I just think it's a tiny added little extra bit of, like, sound dampening. Mm -hmm. uh, and I feel like if I were in a place and I were, you know, rolling perception, then the positioning of the door might be one of those tiny factors that maybe could make something easier for me. Like, oh yeah, it's their doors in a Is really the door there or at the top where I had it before. Up at the top there, yeah, uh, because that to me it means there's less activity going on directly down at this end of the hall, and this end of the hall could therefore be used maybe for more storage or something. So, so that... like that, and then. Pop that back so that there. people hear activity through there, it's maybe more of a rummaging through mechanical parts thing, and they just go, "Oh, it's storage." Uh, that literally is that is the gist of my concern. To take the area that people are going to approach us from and spend most of their time in here, like when they're picking up or dropping off their vehicle, and ensure that the sound that they're getting the majority of. You know, we're, we can't avoid some stuff coming through here. Plus, we can always have the, you know, space radio on, right? So, mm. yeah, I, j I just thought, I thought like, uh, do we want them thinking, oh, there's a lot of doors back there? That's that's just all. Well, uh, realistically, right? So, they'll be able to see if they walked in. They'll be able to see this area if this door is closed. And they'd know that there was more behind. I just yeah. And then this could be primarily storage, and then a tarpaulin over the tank, or whatever the fuck you end up with. Yeah. The stealth vehicle. Mm. Um, and then you just need to go that way to get to the clandestine stuff. So I would suggest maybe, I mean, keep in mind, this room can be bigger. You just could go that way. Do you know what I mean? That could be a room. Um, you just could go this way and add more on this side. Like, I'm happy for you to sit and design this, but I think it does make sense to try and build it up based on purpose and presentation. Mm -hmm. So, this can yeah. easily be the workspace that looks like every day's garage that you would go to. Um, so, yeah. And we've got places for you guys to stay and store stuff, because that's, I mean, that is a big room, right? That That's technically 25 feet long, that room. Which is big by 10 feet. So it is a big dorm room, essentially. Um, what else do we need? Let's see. Hmm. Any more 
requirements, folks. Well, oh, that seems good to me. I I, I really like this out. Um, <coughs> I do wonder if like maybe orientating it more so that you know more of it was behind that sort of area. Um, having a lot, but th then again, it, you know. Are there necessarily going to be a lot of buildings that can facilitate an extremely sort of deep um, storage space? Probably not. So we're probably going to have to go a bit wide as well as the, and that's probably a good thing too. Um, well, so we could keep like the, we could do like all the workshop stuff in the garage area. There's pretty big area. It would be a shame mm -hmm. we just like have mm -hmm. just. We don't have to have that main door open either, like all the time. Like that's not a thing that you yeah. need to do. Well, of course. Yeah, and I mean, like, how many times do you go to a garage and, you know, question what's in the back? Oh, all the I time, but yeah. Do it. I mean, I mean, I, every time I go to the garage, I'm like, wait, what the fuck's behind there? Mm. I think the question is, like, if you're, like, oh, or someone of his ilk, then probably quite a lot. Look, you mean, oh, he's, yeah. He's going to have, like, a whole other room this way if he's wanted. I just remember, I'm just going to charge you for what you actually want. Um... It's, the, it's sort of the price to performance, like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, That's an ugly bed. Oh. Oh. Definitely an ugly bed. Blocks the door. You don't want that. Mega bed. I think. Um, so I think what we might do then is we'll maybe just have the bed token that I like there. That really stupid one. Just represent like the individual like living space. If we just do this, and I'll just copy a bunch of them. I'll just have these overlap as if the space is included. Right, so let's just polygon this in. Right, so let's just. Happy enough for that addition. We can just assume those beds mean an individual room. Yeah. Where's this green? That's not the green. Where's the green? That. Right, so I need to get rid of that. Okay. Mm. Pop this back up. Oh, that's the door. Try and grab the right things. And let's just copy that and make another one. So I can just fix the floor that way. Uh, get rid of this one for now. Uh, right, so you got living space. Um, tech. I feel like walled off between the the beds. No, like that. Like give everybody the privacy. Everybody would like the privacy, probably. Although a few people. We can assume those are rooms, right? And then this other green corridor that exists. Does that technically need to exist now, or will we do something different? So, for example, Ooh. let's say... I don't know if I can grab that green anymore. Is that green still? Well, I need to move things out of the way to grab could be... Let's move these out of the way so I can grab. Okay. Where is it? So, yeah. This can go just now. Pop this could back in. Pop that back in. I think we're happy with the floor, so I'm going to send that to the map player. Where's the other one? Yeah, I can go to the map layer. Gonna pick this door, you can go to the map layer. That was just a test. And this door can go to the map layer. Right, okay, so... It's coming on guys, it's coming on, good, good. I feel like this could be like eating area slash bathroom shower. It's quite a big so real estate would probably fit. Well, real estate. Just, just like half it. <coughs> Pop in what you suggest, obviously. Just carry on. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna move. Is this it? Yeah, so let's start moving some of this just to the map area. Map. So like and then I'll move that to the shower. map as well. Shower bathroom. <coughs> yeah, so like the refresher, if you will. Two by one. Would a 2x1 do it, I guess? Aye, uh, because it could be a stash. 
shower. Well, I mean, yeah, that, I guess. that is a big bathroom, I guess. Uh, yeah. Let's have. Let's see if I can. Big people. So. Um, let's have this be that room. The like, eating area here. There's your. Be like a storage cupboard. Mm hmm. Can you undo, undo, undo for me? Uh, I need to go on and move first. Uh, it's a no, but I can just delete what I've done. Cool. There. Cool. So we've got your toilet there, your refresher room. Uh, right. So, was, uh, if you wanted, I can give you the cryopod. Do you want a cryopod? Yeah, why not? Cryopod always helps. Comes with a free um, person. If, oh, yeah. If you think we need it. Uh... <laughs> 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 right. Um, right, he's got a workstation, right? So let's dump a workstation where you wanted. He's probably going to the garage. I mean, the garage is a lot of people staying in that garage. That could be like a workstation um, slash uh, garage. There he's got, just in case it's not it obvious like what that thing is. Two so. in the open. I'm gonna get rid of that crowd point thing. Yeah, you still get one of those. Um, yeah, oh. that's a... It's not really needed. Uh, we'll get Nix a workstation as well. Yeah. Oh, that's the toilet, don't move the toilet. Um, Where would you like your ridiculous computer? Uh, probably in the back office storage space. I don't imagine they want me working on bombs in public. Okay, so oh, um, do I move that? Click on this. Move oh, this. thank you. Sorry. So let's dump that. Like, like that, maybe? Or in fact, maybe it makes more sense to dump it the other side. Like that. Yeah, by the door. Yep. Right, you. Dump that on the map layer. Let's get all these beds on the map layer. Let's get rid of all these micro beds. <laughs> the beds just represent rooms, obviously. Uh, right. What else do you want? So, need some kind of. What do we? Hmm. Right, so we've got a table. There's some kind of eating area. Hmm. It's not the easiest to see, so I'll tint it. That can be tinted to be some kind of red colour. There you go. Uh, we can just assume that is the eating place. Um, so, what? Wait, what was that again? That's your bathroom. Right. So that leaves like here for loads. Could be like a storage space. area or something. Could be like a. Storage. I don't know. Sure. I mean, no. To work. That leaves. Do you want a door there as well? But no, I really wouldn't. <laughs> yeah. I'd have felt I mean, like you can lock I, it. I'd agree with Colin on that one, but I mean, I, kind of yeah, it. locks can be picked. That's true. Kind of like I feel like I feel like, I feel like the there. inconvenience of having to go through a big door outweighs the like convenience of someone just breaking in. <laughs> Wait, I I just. I mean, there's not really much real estate there because, like, our eating area would have to be like kind of like this. It'd have to be like a kind of two by three. And that's the thing that kind of leaves like here to actually work. No, yeah, because that's, that's that that red square here. could easily be right. keep it. It's five feet, so it could easily be a two foot long breakfast bar, and then a fridge. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't necessarily mm -hmm. need to be like a, an actual dining room. 
I guess I could cut that off. Yeah. Um, I guess that could just you mind, like down. five feet is a a reasonable amount of space. It's not huge, but it's you know think micro living. Um, what else we got? Also, there's five bedrooms currently. Yeah. He's wanted more than. That. Well, there's oh, I did. oh wait, yes, of course. Never yeah, mind. every every Does, room. I mean, if other people want to have, so I'm just Alice as well. Uh huh. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna, gonna assume house. every room. Oh, we've actually got a <laughs> more. Yeah, every room's doubled up. By the way, that every room will have bunk beds. That whether or not they're used is another matter. Yeah. yeah. But I feel like every. Room and the rooms are literally just the size of the bed. Hey, well, that's to represent. Yeah, the bed. The bed. That's a bed. Yeah. But the, well, the bed won't necessarily be a five foot by five foot bed. It will just yeah, take yeah. up part of that. But okay. Yeah, exactly. But the the space is five foot by ten foot. The bed will be in that Look, space. Look, if I had a ten foot by five foot bed, I'd be the happiest man alive. <laughs> I don't want to have a greatest fucking bed ever, man. You just roll. My parents yeah, currently have like a super king size or whatever it's called at the moment, and it is mostly their room. <laughs> um, right. Okay. So, okay, so we're getting good area here. Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. So I need this, and then I need this to be a nine. And I want to dump that there. <gasps> I want to bring that to the front, and then dump it onto the map. <coughs> Bam. Right, okay. <laughs> Um Cool. What else are you doing in your reverse storage area? Can dump some crates in there obviously if need be. Hmm. Hmm. So, we just want your generic storage options. Mm -hmm. So, let's say red, uh, the green is weapons, right? So, you'll probably want weapons stuck somewhere like there. Somewhere less than uh, accessible. Mm -hmm. But not too inaccessible. I guess I'll just dump that over there, and we can just say that's the hygiene facilities. Yeah, you probably want stuff ammo there. Near, I'm guessing that's ammo or something. Uh, up and on the thingy mode. Doesn't really need that's to be ammo. It's just it, it's like ridiculous. It's mostly just me saying you've have got storage. Mm -hmm. You just have just like generic storage covered like back here or something. Uh huh. So, do you want the other one back there as well? or? May as well. I mean, just have a look. Yeah. Got a lot of unused space. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you write off like this, big this much here. for like le quote unquote legitimate. Um, <laughs> Legitimate purposes. Uh, define. <laughs> so, what do we mean? For anything that we don't necessarily want to disguise or hide. Yeah. What if? What if we close off like um, to say that that's dirty, right, mate? That's just a wall, right? Well, like the only way to get I, in here. Hmm. Uh, like we saw it through here. 
and like make it like a door here or something to get into the back, but like where the rooms are. Kind of like that is Nixie's office right, right at the back because he said he wanted to be like right at the furthest away point. Um, but wasn't the point to hide your vehicle? Yeah, no, I mean, the point for also was I was saying, have the paranoid space for Lyco's mad maps far away from everywhere. I mean, yeah, I don't necessarily want to be spying on, you know, major military leaders or whatever they are out in the open, so that would need to be something mm. that was a little bit more hidden. And I guess like the pub just before that could be like general workshop like area mm-hmm. because like you would probably want to be near the workshop anyway, regardless. Yeah. Like So like, this whole back area could just basically be a workshop workshop slash Nick's office. Nick's computer genius mad hackery. <laughs> mad hacks. It's kind of racist. Uh, I'm very, <laughs> very racist, but it's, it's not entirely untrue. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to clip that soundbite out of context. <laughs> Much use. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Alright, so... <laughs> right, we've got a workspace for Lyco, a workspace for... I'm going to maybe make that more streamlined, I think. So, I don't think it would be 10 foot somehow. I feel like reasonably it would be something akin to that. Only I need to fix that so that it snaps back to the grid. Right, so, there we go. Huh. I cover that, and then obviously we know Nix has this ridiculous say. Uh, I think I put on the map player, so let's go to the map player. Let's bring it back. Let's shrink his computer down. I feel like I want to do this. Oh, I don't want to do all that now. Back to the object layer. I move this door down to there. It's a lot harder than it looks, by the way. I want PD back to things. So... Is that a bit better? Mm-hmm. Gives you and Lyco some workspace. Still somewhere you could technically, like, park a car if you put it, like... Sideways, if he's had to. Um, realize that you could just move the chairs away if you really wanted to. Seems to work. And then, what else? What else do you need? It's about it, really, isn't it? Anybody? Was it? I mean, yeah. Anything else on the wish list? Double um, this underground to hide all my shiny treasures. So <laughs> work, foods, sleep, the gym, it's sort of front area. Yeah, I think that's fine. Right. Now just to. Let's see, control everything, copy, move further up, paste, and then hope for the best. Undo that because it's absolutely awful. Move all this to map layer. Move myself to map layer. Move everything up. So let's do that. And then let's fix everything because it's all ski whiff. Move to the back. Move to 
to the front, to the back, move to the front. I'm back. Welcome back. I am back. Move to the front. Also just move to a different layer entirely. Move to the front. Welcome to the world of map building every day. Mm. Uh, it doesn't need to be huge either, that can be... There is like a workstation. I can just assume that's what that represents as workstations. So that things can be fixed. Uh, we can mm. go back up there. I think that's... Oh. Yeah, and I'll just stretch that out as well. It can be the dining space. Anything I've missed, Alex? Um, no. I think that's no. Right, you and then mm -hmm. let's get this last part done. Dum 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 dum. Space. And There's then moving space. And we can maybe like a door here. Two seconds. Then I think it's Gucci, personally. Unless, unless we really don't want to do that, obviously. Mm. What's everybody's thoughts? I think we should probably have a door there. So we don't reveal this. Sneaky space too easily. Where are we putting it? Sorry. Um. What? What? Sorry. Yeah. Oh, the door into the living quarters. Basically, so we could like get out the car into the living quarters, you know. And then one of the only real main accessible ways into the workshoppy areas, like here. Is. Hmm. Through the extremely big, obvious door for moving the car in. So, do you mean like that, where you could easily go to the kitchen without it being super obs? And then, what if we did this as well? Let me just rotate that around. Dump that there. Because, is this here, is this like a door? I don't know, I missed half of that. Um, like, see this here? Is this like a door into the workshop or something? Or is that just a place over there? So the, That's a like big door. Big door, okay. It's a big door into the workshop. Here is that. Move this forward. Try and grab that line again. So what was something like that then? Because that segments your secret corridor. We can move your... Uh, let me get rid of that and move your secret storage into your secret storage corridor. 
and that way if you actually need people to come in and have a cup of tea and use the bathroom you have that option mm -hmm. without it necessarily mm -hmm. being straight to your sleeping quarters yeah, that makes a lot of sense um, if need be as well do we have a let's see if I've got something else for this um, let's see Could in theory this work? Let's see if this will stretch and not look awful. Oh, hello. Could just be in theory a couch. If you wanted somewhere to relax, although it looks something like a big angry transformer, so let's just get rid of it. You probably just see Zora chilling on that all the time. So, uh, <laughs> the, the question I have again is like, so where is the workspace it, here? Yep, the console at the back corner. Next is like spot, but yeah, the rest of it's supposed to be sort of like the work, the so, general workshop. So in theory, right? So this is the fake front, but also workspace for you guys because you don't always need to keep. I've been saying that. What? Mm -hmm. Sorry. You still with us? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so far, we've got fake work area, right, which is actually going to be usable space by you guys as well, because when you close this door, it doesn't really matter what happens, right? Close this door, doesn't matter what happens in here, it's only if you're trying to like actually deal with customers. This door can be closed, just like the like, big shutter doors, and then Lyco is crazy space. Nix is crazy space. Hmm. Lyco is crazy space. Nix is crazy space. So you have a workspace to work on. And then all this spare room, if you want to keep more vehicles or stuff, depending on what assets you end up with, you then can go this way if you wish into your actual, like personal gear or whatever you want to use this space for, but mostly storage setup. I feel like. I don't, I don't see why we're prioritizing hiding beds over, you know, top secret stuff. That that seems. Why do these have to be behind multiple sets of doors? Well, beds on but we door. want only Pardon one me. to hide. You know the fact that I'm going to be spying on uh, a guy whose name is 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 just a long list of incredibly unpleasant things and is a very powerful person. That seems like something I would want to hide more than just behind one door. We sometimes open. But like all the doors, you sometimes open. We <laughs> would not put that stuff there. At do we? Do we necessarily even need um, the store here at all? Could this just be a wall? We discussed that earlier. Because mm. I think the issue is that Lyco doesn't believe in reinforced doors. No, it's not that Lyco doesn't believe in reinforced doors. I've been pretty explicit about what my issue is. I mean, I'm I'm not. It is one door which is very visible, um, immediately visible, that there, there, there is no deterrent factor and it's also something that, as you suggested, it's a large reinforced door so that vehicles can be moved through it. That that strikes me as a, sort of like the first place anyone's going to go. Um, I mean, I, if, just, I, I feel like if someone's in your base though, that isn't there but people to are just... going to be because this is going to be a legitimate business where people are going to be in this area but then people isn't can't just walk idea. freely around because doors will be locked if, no, if but... you're open for business right you'll have business mode where this door will be shut and locked and only you will go through the staff only door which has another okay. staff only door to get to the staff only room I've got a cool and cheesier idea mm-hmm I'm a bit, I'm a bit, right, for instance, if we want to save real estate uh, here, we could get rid of, oh, oh, what have I, what have I picked up, didn't we pick up that, uh, there we go, right, we could get rid of this area, right, and turn this into an elevator, it's <laughs> got a, 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 an area down below that's this big. <laughs> How much That's money do you? Th I was gonna say yeah. How much money do you think you have? That's why I says get rid of this. That's why I says get rid of this. Well, <laughs> the hang on point is what? 
why is like putting this as far away from the public eye as possible the priority? I think it's the way you're looking at this because it's not that it's it's, it's, so Colin don't think of it this way as this is like the, the, the shortest route to there because the way I would look at it is this is a big heavy door this is a big heavy door and that is a door and this is a door and that's a door so really this is actually the most secure place well, sounds okay if it makes Lyco happy, and um, will make Colin happy to make Lyco happy. Mm-hmm. Um, we could ditch a bed, particularly if we're sending these bunk beds. We don't need all of that taken up. Ditch the one at the end and stick his console unit down there, and have that back wall, as well as a bit of a poster space. Have this main, have this area maintained as just Nick's and storage space. Mm-hmm. Well, um, as it wasn't just physical distance; it was also a case of like door here, like. Uh, mm-hmm. mm, I just the way oh, actually okay, with the beds at the back so is like my point. I was making exactly. earlier, right, for Lyco's benefit, is a customer with your fake but kind of actually legitimate business. Um, even though you might have to deal with the taxes of versus soon, um being here isn't going to go, I'm just going to break into this room because it's there. No, if, but they will immediately sorry, know it's there. Let, let me fit. So, if a VESC operative has came in this door, you're already fucked. Doesn't matter that you've got a door here or 10,000 doors to get to I, there. I disagree. I think it does because they know that that's there. That's blindingly obvious immediately. Whereas, if this area does not have uh, an access route, it's more ambiguous as to what's going on in the rest of the building. Now, I'm not saying it's a massive deterrent, but just a, huh, okay, there's a door there, there's a door there, is a lot easier than, uh, well, there's a door that goes that way, and I know nothing else about the layout of this building right now. It just, it is just that tiny little bit less obvious, and it's just like, I don't see the absolute necessity for having an entryway there. Also, part of me is thinking if we split Nix's and Lyco's dodgy areas um, apart, then at least if somebody gets in and goes, you're up to something. And we go, oh yeah, we've actually got this arms dealing operation in the back here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it's a separate dodgy. Yeah, we could lie over. Yeah, it is. Like, again, it's like they, they go after one thing, they find one thing, who's to see they find yeah. the other? Again, they might stop looking when they find what they were looking for. It's like, I just... I... That's why I think ditching one of the bedrooms and putting Lyco stuff where people would expect a bed to be mm-hmm. might give the best space. I think then, I'm going to leave this as it is here, right? I'm going to make a page, mm-hmm. right? We're just going to make a new page. I'm going to leave it open. Because you can go in it at any point. Mm-hmm. Um, I think what we'll do is there's four of you, which makes it really easy to divide. So let me just put this as a safe house one or safe house plan. There we go. Let's move this to this screen and everybody watch your eyes. Ah. Uh-huh. Right. So let me edit this so that it doesn't burn everybody's eyes. Because the grey is so much easier to work with. Although it would help if it would let me change the settings. <laughs> We're almost there, it's just being really slow to react. Refresh this because it's too slow. Please stand by while I rejoin. I wonder why that's taken so long to do so. Right, so, settings. 
background color, grid color, except, and then except, zoom out, and then snap the corner. 200. So I need it to go to 100. <laughs> and then the same the other way. Got a turn order here, but that's fine. Probably go and line this with this way as well. Right. I assume everybody can see all that. There you go. And where are we? So. We're having like a build battle here. Ah, ex <laughs> exactly that. <laughs> so let's dump you guys in here. I don't know if that's what I want. There we go. Chuck Nick's in there. And yeah, let's throw Zig in here. Let's throw Lyco in there. And let's throw Zora in there. Right, well, you've got your corners. And you've mm -hmm. got until next session. Um, <laughs> and at any point, obviously, you can confer or whatever but I'd say that's reasonable right um, obviously if you want me to add stuff in let me know I don't mind jumping on it at any point during the middle but obviously if this goes sideways we do have the other thing we've built in the meantime um, but I would say yeah I would rather you've got something you've actually wanted mm -hmm. rather than just oh. what makes do so yeah there you go. You just don't need to keep your tokens there as well. You just can get rid of them if need be. But mm -hmm. I feel like that's enough space. That should be more than enough space. You just probably couldn't afford more space than that anyway. Um, depending on how you want it laid out. Uh, you probably do have access to like assets and stuff, but realistically if you just like put symbols like crosses or half lines or squares or triangles or whatever you want to do, change the colour of things, um, whatever, like just label it in whatever way you want to um, and I can obviously help make our, the other sheet match it if need be uh, and then I'll price it up for you guys and we'll deal with that since yeah I feel like we may as well wrap up here yeah. but I think that's a uh, not the worst yeah, place I'm to right. end yeah I think it's not only that though it is it's, it's admin that we want to do because I think it means that we're actually kind of setting up this is the same as building a ship really mm -hmm. this is this is the new base yeah. of operations. Um, so I have a session title suggestion already um, which is I'll type up here. You can cringe if you wish. Um, uh, back to basics. Cringe. Um, emphasis on base. Uh, you can suggest what you like just now. What do you uh, what do you think? Um, I it's uh, I mean, obviously this was a relatively late in the action. Um, oh yeah, but it's also uh, important on the. Uh, so I don't. Yeah, I I wouldn't stress out too much over the naming. Although maybe like the conversation at the beginning might be worth referring to. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Such as MD anything they can pull from that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we mostly had Zig talking to Nix, Alice talking to Nix, Zora and Alice, Zora and Zig, Lyco and Zora. We had some flashbacks with Nix and Alice building stuff. Um, hmm. Can't actually remember if I read any particular choice quotes from there. 
Yeah, I think it was mostly just um, trying to find footing again, right? Um, mm-hmm. Maybe that's a good one, sure footing, maybe. Because we had Zig climb up and down Zora, we've got the fact that Zig was unsure where he stood with Nyx, and you're trying to get a base to work from. Sure footing. Multiple levels. I mean it. Something about foundations. Um, mm. um, like the parable about the man who made his home in a stupid place. <laughs> um, the beach or something. I don't know why he did that. <laughs> it um, was there, wasn't it? What we just salvage? <laughs> it's... Salvage is good. I like salvage. It's not the worst. Yeah, it was salvage. Um, sound good, folks? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sorry, I am quite tired. Understandable with your entire day of travelling. I mean, you've had you've had a, a pretty big, big day of it. <laughs> mm, it's been you've had a whole day. It's been a day. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Oh well, yeah, we'll pop that down oh, as yeah. salvage then. Um, salvage for the title, uh, we'll do our rundown review. Uh, I will move the viewers only to the main screen, um, and leave all you guys looking at this screen because it doesn't make sense to not have you guys on this screen. Hmm. Okay. That's logic. Um, so I'll pop the viewers so on the main screen. What? Do, before I, I I feel just so that I'm not rushing away at some point because I am getting quite tired. Like well, next week, are we, well. are we are we are we a runny next week? Do I, we do, think? I don't see why not. For me, at least. Yeah, ninth. Uh, uh oh, hold on, hold the ball. Okay. Also, for time-wise, let's schedule off-camera and just do the wrap-up yep. chat yeah, just now. Yeah. So do you want to lead us, Colin, with the wrap-up, since you need to... Yeah, yeah, thank you. Uh, I, I was... Uh, obviously, it was it was lighter in me this session, which is deeply upsetting to me. No, it's... Uh, <laughs> we, we, we got focused on admin stuff, and sometimes that, that takes a lot of time. Um, it's also about chatting about Zig's goals were good because I think it was good for Callum to get everybody's input yes. on mm-hmm. where to go with goal building. Because it is something that like it's not always easy. Like I think like the the thing that's to be said for the hit monsters until you get big and strong system is that it's simple, mm. uh, and, and you can't really you know you'd be hard pressed to fuck it up too badly. Um, whereas I think goals are actually quite challenging and like I completely mm-hmm. um, I completely sympathise with you having a hard time with like sort of thinking and stuff because it ain't easy. Like it does require a bit of thought and it you know, not everything you think of will be like a you know, absolute goal. You'll be like, eh no. Like the what I did today, it's not that I thought it was a bad goal, it's just like a is this really the most immediate goal that I should be for mm-hmm. No, it isn't. So what do I do? Um like, so that obviously is important stuff. Um and it's good that we done it. Um, it's good also to sort of push forward uh, the, the the plot line with with Zig and his sort of um, concerns about Nick's five and Alice. Because I think like I think that that Zig was maybe going to be affected in terms of his ability to actually be a member of the party in the long run by it and I think it's like sort of like yeah that is interesting in terms of story but you kind of have to like I do worry like there comes a point where maybe the character is getting like <sighs> held back by that one particular plot thread mm-hmm. and I think like sort of just kind of forcing it along a little bit and probably I think that would be pretty good because I think when it comes to it next time maybe uh, it'll be a little easier to think of something else because you won't maybe be quite so focused on that and yeah, um, yeah I think you can get hung up on going I haven't achieved this yet how do I achieve it instead of going yeah. actually what's more important right now yeah um, it, it, you, you can always move on to something you, you for can life. come back to that if you, if you want to come back to that you can come back to that no reason not to um, so yeah I, I think like that's that was good that was that was good for for, for Zeke and probably good for Callum too like in an admin way <laughs> definitely I think good for Callum um and obviously, it was also nice to get a bit of Alex at what Nick, Nick's side, which was, I think, quite 
reasonable um, and down to earth and, and quite you know, not not to be stereotyping the android, but rational. Um, there was definitely a, a sort of questioning to it. He wasn't just writing it off as oh, Z, Z, you know, Zig's just being Zig, the way that maybe to an extent um, Lyco was probably can't. Uh, but it, it was definitely a very much a this is Zeg. What is is what are his likely motives to be? Um, and and it was it was a nice moment because it was it 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 showed that Nix was not indifferent to what had obviously been a rather traumatic event, uh, as well he should not be, um, <laughs> and and that made a great deal of sense obviously, and I thought that was good because it establishes this look. There's not necessarily going to be quite the tension that Zeg expected there. Uh, but it's not like Nix isn't acknowledging the reality of the situation. It's not like it's just like, oh yeah, everything's the same. Um, which I think again, like it's a sensible. It's it's maybe not the way that um, some characters would approach it. I think, but it, it definitely seemed like a, the the rational. Yeah, it was definitely and, the Android uh, approach. I think. Um, I think yeah, so. and, I, and I don't mean just because it's like, oh, it's rational, etc., etc. It's like it's also it's also very Nix. Like Nix is not someone who is liable to flying off the handle that we've seen, right? But do you know what I've enjoyed actually on that note though? I've enjoyed that more and more we are getting Nix being annoyed at things, <laughs> and we are having yeah, him actually share that, being like, next time, tell me when you're going to try something like this before yeah. and it's like <laughs> no there was no it wasn't like he was uh, disguising his displeasure indeed um so uh, oh, apologies <laughs> i really am uh really i'm quite tired apologies that's okay to list, uh, what about you at- well, well we'll move on uh thank you no problem <laughs> but no i agree with most of the things raised there i think it is interesting to explore both the Nix's slow evolution towards, I guess, being just a pissed off guy that has to fix everybody else's problems, and uh, <laughs> Zig's exploration into should I be actively creating more problems with my ability to, um, and in turn solving party problems with my ability to cause enemy problems, such as irradiate. Uh, <laughs> Zora. Um, well, very admin heavy. It's good. I think it's again. Yeah, you need that every now base. and then, though, to get like. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Because it was yeah, like a kind of. There was like again, it was a new chapter. It was uh, getting you guys from the wreckage of the last chapter to the new beginnings of this chapter. You did a lot of setup for justifying the admin last time. Mm-hmm. So yeah, and I think it's important. Like obviously, I built the ship last time, so I want you guys to have a say on how your base or whatever works this time. Because yeah, like you'll need to work on if you want to move to another planet or whatever. You just don't have the ability to do that without just going like through public transport, right? Or if you can acquire less than public transport, you know, you don't need to do that through other people's ships for the time being until you can get yourselves back on your your feet. And it does make sense to like I think Nick came up with a great idea: build a business, make money, look legitimate, fix ship, get ship, fuck off. Um, mm-hmm. Which is pretty decent. Uh, sorry, but carry on, sorry. Um, I guess in order to properly did some RP with Zig and uh, uh, Zig and Nix. Mm-hmm. I guess we'll just stay in game. Good job. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> did some RP this one. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> um, we RP a lot, to be honest. We're a good bunch yeah, for that. I mean, it's good. <laughs> we were thinking about getting done the, the base operations. It's pretty, it'd be nice. It's, it's the fallback place. Yeah, as I was trying to highlight as well, like 70k is not insignificant as amount of money. It's not quite buy a brand new ship money, but it's definitely not insignificant. Do you know what I mean? Like the thing I kept looking at though was like the ultimate hover carrier, which is like 3.5 mil or something. I just kept looking at it going, why don't you just have 3.5 mil? Yeah, why don't we have 3.5 mil? Yeah. Who's in charge of that? Yeah, players that try and make money. But don't make money because you spend it all <laughs> on cakes without apologising to each other. 
But yeah, um, what about yourself, next five? Um, yeah, I love I love spreadsheets. <laughs> um, yeah, mm. no, um, yeah, no, it, it was good to get that with Zig because obviously it's been sitting for a few sessions. Yeah, um, and like it's something that I didn't want to like. I knew it wouldn't auto resolve, right? It hasn't been resolved. You have got to the point where you know you can work on resolving it as characters more so than players, because you know as mm. players you could resolve it. But um, yeah, yeah, I think the reason why it's important there is because you now have that goal sitting on like your pending list there, Cal, and you know you've uh -huh. got an in to fix it now. The day you remove it from your list is the day that. I just used Alice to give you a moment to say, here's a way you can look back to this uh -huh. at some point. Um, it's also just something that Alice would notice because the conversations you and her have had briefly, where she's like, she's starting to pick up on like subtleties, you know? Mm -hmm. She's, you know, it's also called the ultimatum hover carrier, by the way, and it's a uh, 3.75 mil. Well, it's uh, <laughs> a colossal air, <laughs> land, and water vehicle. Um, but anyway, that's besides the point. <laughs> yeah. No, there was definitely there was a moment where it's like uh, I think just the very human social awkwardness side of me was like you could just brush it off and be like, eh, it's nothing. But uh, it's it's really good, I think, in this game playing complex characters that we are, really. Yeah, because um, you definitely are more than just I'm the barbarian who gets angry and punches things and then occasionally stops punches things because mechanically my rage ran out. Like, yeah, you definitely aren't where, those people. And that's why, like, I think it would be very easy playing as an Android mechanic to be purely mechanical about it all. Mm -hmm. um, and even that's uh, the sort of trope that I try to not fall into. Because um, it's like, yeah, the the issue with Alice is, you know, not oh no you broke a machine it's mm. this is so much yeah yeah and I think you've, yeah you've, 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 up in that you've got that from the start I think way back at the start where you first met her and mm -hmm. you got that she wasn't quite right even just kind of through the first conversation ever saying hi I'm Alice mm -hmm. and then you guys were like hello this is the eleventh hour oh I don't know what time it is you know literally like some of her first dialogue. Um, and everyone going, oh god! I think it was actually Nico was like, oh, it's one of Ryan's NPCs. Um, <laughs> but yeah, like yeah. she's just she's super complex. Nick's fives the fucking existential depths he's plumbing, you know, um, <laughs> are interesting uh, unto themselves as well. But no, I think um, it's just good kind of hearing uh, Cal talk about Zig looking over Nick's. Because that's something I hadn't... Just from the pace of everything that's gone on since the incident. Mm -hmm. And just as we were talking about it, in character, I realised I've not had time to stop and think about the fact that Nick's wife has changed form. Yeah. Which I think other people can brush off in a way that is actually more troubling to him. Because that's the one thing that androids don't do. Yeah, right. And it's, um, yeah. It's, it's the inverse. But it makes sense based on what has happened in the narrative as well. Like, the loads has happened. Mm -hmm. Um... <laughs> a lot of worrying stuff, to be honest, <laughs> and then you, your t your loss of time again. Um, mm -hmm. was it like three weeks, she's lost in the drift. So yeah, yeah. There's um, quite a lot to unpack yeah. there. Yeah, that's where it's like, like um, just the entire thing with Zig was was really fun to play out. Mm -hmm. It'd be like, yeah, there's no easy fix to it, but yeah, yeah, he knows there is no malice behind it. But yeah, it's like people, we're, we're not people okay. People have done bad things through ignorance too. Yeah, it's like we're not okay, but we're not not okay. It's just yeah. like we need to explore it further, but we currently have things in our way just now. Once we resolve yeah. those, we can loop back on this and maybe say, right, here's a list of do's and don'ts when it comes to killing people. Yeah, and it's it's potentially bad stuff happened, and that's not okay. Yeah. But it's also not. It's not exactly Zig's fault. It's, yes, exactly. It's he doesn't need to look for forgiveness because there's just because he did something bad. It doesn't mean it's something that needs to be forgiven. Exactly, I think that's something Lyco would have said to him as well. Whereas you're mm. not the good guy, 
you're not exactly the bad guy, you're something in between, and that mm -hmm. is okay under the right circumstances. Pretty much again what Zora said to Alice way back at the start, being like, it's okay to lie if it's for like the good of the crew. Mm -hmm. You know, that seems reasonable because you'll be doing it because you think it's for the good of the crew, not because I you're doing it I can't remember exactly off. when it was, but she came in big one. Is that a good <laughs> yeah, and it was it was hilarious. I can't remember exactly when it was, but she came in by Gwandu. Yeah, and like, and it was great. It's like yes. Yeah, because there was um, <laughs> she did bring it back up later at a meeting in the mess hall. Um, because when it was first said, it's before you had a ship map, and then when it was second, she brought it back up when you had the mess hall and stuff to actually see, and she said, actually, I have it in very good authority that it's okay to lie. <laughs> when it's for the good of the crew. Um, yeah, so there's definitely, she's had some callback as well. Um, anything else to add there, uh, Alex? Um, no, other than obviously excited to get a base on the go. Yeah, no, definitely. Uh, so. I'm quite excited at the idea of, I have a bit of direction um, for your purposes here, because obviously I knew what I was providing plot-wise to tell you what's happened in the last three weeks of the world you've missed, but now you're like, actually, we need to work on, we need solid ground to start from um, so I like that I like the idea of a illegitimate business as a source of income um, or a legitimate business as a source of income um, layers of illegitimate business yeah um, business. having the super secret base type thing also cool um, we'll work on that as well as compendium yep. I like to call it yeah. Um, <laughs> Emporium. Yeah. Or, sorry, the, the, Zora, the Zora the Abyss Consortium. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so you've got that. Um, I mean, keep in mind, you just might be able to call in favours from people you've encountered as well, right? You don't need to do this stuff alone. It just depends how much you want to include other people. For example, are you going to let SK know about this shit? Do you know what I mean? So this is the stuff you might want to keep in mind when thinking up this stuff because she is a banker. Right, um, that's a thing. Um, but yeah, beyond that, before we narrative on a bit, Zig, Callum. Hi. Yeah. Yes. Um, oh. it's def hi there. Um, no, it's it's definitely the sort of admin -y session that I needed, being both Zig and Callum. Mm. Um, <laughs> because I've definitely struggled with transitioning to the goal system mm. especially because so much has just sort of happened where I'm like well uh, I don't know I don't know where what 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 goals uh, eh. um, especially immediate goals because everything's been so psychic oh my god um, just it's, it, yeah it's, it's, been, it's been tricky to transition to the goal system so it's definitely sort of the admin -y session that mm -hmm. I think as well like I knew Sorry, I it was. It's the other reason why I like to color code the goals because I think it highlighted quite significantly the, like, who is actually working out. And I realised it's actually quite even until obviously there was a lack of zig there mm. uh, on the goals front. So having the that kind of makes it a bit more obvious of why. Like it maybe is a prompt for you to sit and think, why am I not achieving as many goals as somebody else? Is it that I'm not either not so much not aware of the current situation, but I'm not engaging in the right aspects of the current situation to achieve a goal, or is it just that I don't know what direction I should be going in? Um, I think that was important to have that conversation together at the start. So I wanted to sp we spent quite a bit of time at the start with you, mm -hmm. and I wanted to do that because it made sense to bring you in as a player to the system we're using to get XP, essentially. Um, I think the goal system has merit for you guys a lot more than maybe my other game, uh, purely because you are quite individuals in this as opposed to a group. And yeah, I think this is um, having that chat. We've got ideas for you as goals. We've got a current one, which is like talk to the captain about place for the crew for Zig, blah, blah, blah. We can explore that. You can kind of obviously chop and change. We're not going to talk about goals yeah. at the end of this session anyway. We'll deal with goals at the start of next week. Um, and people can obviously think about it. Again, Although, I, I do find it hilarious that, um, you know, as soon as I change my goal, mm -hmm. the the closest uh, of all the goals that I have written down are uh, mm -hmm. reconcile mm -hmm. Nix and seek forgiveness. <laughs> but, um, yeah, mm -hmm. but that's not a reason why yeah, but, I'm going to uh, do stuff like that, though, because you didn't do anything to provoke that. 
Alice did. Mm. So, Alice has her own goals. You know, that I write. So, yeah. What level is she on? Uh, well, she did get that head start being like experimental <laughs> AI and that experimental, uh, what, apotheosis almost? <laughs> uh, or but who hasn't had an apotheosis yeah yeah right I mean we're working on yours so <laughs> <laughs> but yeah that's the like the goal system is tricky it isn't I knew it wasn't going to be an instant transition not for everybody obviously Lyco took to it way better uh-huh. than other people but then when you look at it it didn't really like he's achieved two and then there's two for Zora two for Nyx so people have picked up but it's maybe just that Zig as a character doesn't have as much direction as people who have had, as we've discussed before, Nyx and Lyco and Zora have had a life that they have left behind in some fashion, either literally yeah. or through rebirth of some kind. Like Zora had a whole life and ditched it, cast it off, shed it like a skin and became a new version of Zora to just be that I'm going to go fuck off in space and have adventures in a spaceship with my best buddy. And then you've got Nyx, who is Nyx 5, right? So we've had many Nyxes before. And then you've got Lyco, who died as a cop and is now bumming around as a, like a hired consultant cop, essentially now, um, slash space murderer, um, who's going through his own weird like necrotic evolution. So they've got direction to some degree, they've had past lives, Zig is a young kid, he thought he knew what his world was, he got his eyes opened quite a bit, and then seems to be like a key piece in a a very scary cosmic puzzle, and yeah, it makes sense that you'd struggle giving Zig a bit of a push, but that's, I think the trick is to pull in Zig's kind of line of sight a bit, and go, what can I deal with today? Um, Mm -hmm. That's good, and I think... A lot of this... Which goes for real life for a mm-hmm. lot of people. Yeah. I know. Who knew that RP was going to be mirroring real life? And then... Um, uh, it's, it's fantasy. But with that as well, like to summarise <laughs> like, the goal thing, your talk to the captain about your place for the crew for Zig is literally like Callum saying, what do I want Zig to be doing? Right? So, yeah. Maybe that is something worth like mentioning during the week through the messenger chat and stuff to like shoot ideas to each other um, mm-hmm. about like development for the Zig to help you with your goals and keep in mind again I'm available at various things all of our wonderful listeners if they want to comment uh, feel free to say what Zig should get up to um, yeah um, anything else you want to add Zig? Um, I love okay right I don't know if anyone knows this but I love like base building, town building, <laughs> uh, city building, and they, so that just like whole like sort of last half was <laughs> amazing. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad you enjoyed it. It made me so happy. It, um... it just made me so happy. I was sitting there going, "Uh, I just get like within like you know." couple minutes i was like oh well this won't last very long oh well and then it kept going and i was so happy i was like ah <laughs> i had to keep muting myself going yes but that's the thing like so, it was a very needed aspect right of the game because i'd rather you guys had like a map to kind of call home right it's why the ship i think mm. made it feel a bit more engaging right because us describing the ship was fine but then as soon as you've got a map for it it felt a bit more tangible right um you knew where your space was, you knew where the storage rooms were, the ramps onto it and off of it, blah blah blah, like and it was a pretty big ship that you had as well so it is worthwhile putting the time in to build a base etc. Um, hence why I've given you all like map space to work on it during the week or whatever. Um, doesn't need to be built for next week because obviously it can still be ongoing projects, I just want it to be something people work on um, because I just don't intend to do this all, it's something you guys want, not something I need to build. Um, I just will put all the, the artwork and stuff on it and decorate it <laughs> if need be. Um, but yeah, uh, as always guys, thanks for playing. Colin did dash off because he's super, super tired. Thank um, you for running. Thank you for running. We'll Thank catch you, you so thanks much. Bye, and, uh, Thank you. And goodbye everybody. Bye bye. Goodbye. Bye.